There we go. Right. Well, the magic of seeing this in the future, <laughs> assuming this is a good run. Outer Loper 03. Is it'll all look better. You won't have seen those horrible failures before. Yeah, I'll keep the outtakes on uh, on unlisted videos for the sadists to go and watch. Right, Outer Loper. Let's get cracking. Hopefully not get nibbled to death. Better to find that out now than hours... Oh, I like that optimism, Angevin. And you are right. A lot better to find out now than... Okay. Oh, we're on day seven. Things are looking good for the bow. All right, speaking of looking good, that's not Forlorn Muskeg. I don't think Forlorn Muskeg is a good spawn. I don't think there are guaranteed matches. There is a guaranteed uh, flare over in that caboose. And we better make haste and lay waste for that. Um, there are also hunter blinds around here. Is there one around here? I think there is. Check hunter blind, warm up in caboose, uh, grab cattails and sticks whenever possible, and hope that it's not too windy. Also, never, ever, ever fall through the... Hang on, am I north or south? I grabbed a stick, right? I don't actually know my position here. That is north, so I am south of the, uh, of the thing. If you, if you don't mind me, let me just flick the paper. Let me go over to F in my giant, uh, giant load of papers here. Pretty sure there's a hunter blind directly south of where I am. Now, there was somebody very scathing about me using maps when playing this game, and that's fair. I mean, I'm, uh... I've been saying scathing things about using feats when playing this game, so it's only fair that uh, that I take some heat back myself. Oh, that was a little too risky. Hello, I didn't know you were here. Also, oh, Crivens, I'm hypothermic already. Now I've done it. My, I've, oh Jesus, I have no shortage of problems with this today. I don't seem to be able to search this corpse now. Oh, there we go. There we go. Something something weird going on, I'm telling you. Right, where's the hunter blind? Is that it over there? That looks like it. Now, this community is made up of nothing if not pedants. A hunter blind is not a man-made structure that gives a warmth bonus. Oh crap, this could be bad. Oh, Jesus. Let's not make a habit of doing that. I'm not very comfortable with uh, running across dangerous uh, fall through ice, so yeah, that gave me the willy something bad. If you fall through the ice at this stage of the game, it's just GG. Oh my god, what in the world is going on here? Okay, so interaction is on that. Struggle it wait, what? Struggle was on press and hold. Well, I don't know what I'm talking about, clearly. <laughs> Too heavy, Jay. Yeah, I need to drop all these cattails I have. They're clearly weighing me down. How much do we weigh anyway? Not even three kilos of stuff we're carrying, that is. God knows how chunky our uh, Commander Shepard is. That N1 armor doesn't look particularly light, does it? No, he's probably got the DLC. He's in Cerberus armor, no doubt. Right, Hunter Blind, don't let me down. Uh, that doesn't let me down. Hacksaw the Great Find, 88. Firewood is good. Backpack. Granola bar. We will not be finding a lot of manufactured foodstuffs, so that's a great find. Summit soda. Ooh, lantern fuel. Uh, Polaroid. Lousy towers. I snapped a pick for you. Well, that's nice. I don't think I'm going to go to that vista point. Okay, that was a phenomenally good find. The hacksaw will be able to get us saplings and allow us to carve up frozen corpses, so huzzah. But we really got to go and warm up, because we are freezing our bejesus off. 
Oh man, I do not like the idea of running back across these treacherous bits again. Can we take a cleaner route, please? Yeah, this looks cleaner. Yeah, I think I ran across that. Holy moly, what was I thinking? There's a delicious frozen corpse over there too. Well, too bad, we've already gone past it. That's the caboose over there, I believe. I hope it is, at least. We'll get there, and we will get warmth. Now, you may correctly identify that we do not have matches. And that is true. We're going to have to make do with uh, one Flareon. That's all we get. For now. I don't know where we can find matches from this point on, but one flare, and we're going to have to grab as many torches as we can and carry those torches. The question is if we go to Mystery Lake or Broken Railroad. Broken Railroad is, I think, a dead end, so that doesn't strike me as a great idea. So I'll probably be going to Mystery Lake, even though I'm very unfamiliar with Mystery Lake. Bleak Inlet is another option. I don't think I've ever been to Bleak Inlet, so that would be a terrible choice. Wouldn't know what to do. Does Outer Loper mean you can never enter indoor buildings? Correct. Now, what qualifies as an indoor building? There's a lot of grey areas there, but I already know what I will and will not be allowed in. It's a, it's a man-made structure that gives a heat bonus, that's what I'm not allowed. And we can very easily verify if it gives a heat bonus or not. But then what's a man-made structure, right? Jeez, well, cars will be okay. Mines and caves are going to be okay. And I'm going to be allowed to go through something. Not stay in it, but sometimes uh, to get access to location you have to go through somewhere. Prison is a good example. If I want to enter the prison, there is a man-made area with a warmth bonus that has to be entered to get there. So I will permit myself that. Of course, that means no loitering whatsoever in said building. Jeez, oh my god, I'm getting frostbitten to bejesus and back. we got to get in there, and now... But I think the wind is against me, so it's slowing me down. Look how slow I'm going. Is it? Is that? Yeah, that's frostbite risk. I do not want another frostbitten run, please. I also hope I'm going towards the right train. Imagine if this was the wrong one. It doesn't even look that windy, does it? I think our chap here is just a complete wimp. Grab sticks. Sticks are good. Okay, here we go. Right, we need this badly. Where's the where's the flare? Whew! Jings, imagine if that weren't there. Right, flare, 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 flare. What was up with that animation? Right, give me the charcoal, start the fire, get the stick. And we're just gonna bung on probably some coal as well, just get some heat going. Do you make an exception for rope you find in? Nope. Nope, 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 nope. We're not allowed to use any loot. We've... Oh, bollocks. Are you serious? I don't have time for this. We're getting frostbite at this rate. If I charcoaled for the map, I would definitely have frostbite. Come on, but I would like on. to have all eight fingers, two thumbs, and uh, ten toes for this run, please. Okay, sweet. Well. Oh god, it's so close. Right, uh, bung on the firewood and bung on one bit of coal. And... We need to start making water. Always, always water. Come on, come on, warm up. Ah, oh, there we go. Whew. Scrap metal, don't know if that's going to be of any use to me. A thin wool sweater. Take anything at this rate. Actually, it's a very nice conditioned uh, sweater. Decent. Well, it says decent, doesn't it? Right, there is a memento cache, and I actually know where that cache is, and there's good food inside it. I just don't think there's generally good enough stuff in it to, to warrant going for. Right, uh, this is warming us up nicely. Staggering 11 degrees. Once I have a bit of warmth, I'm going to go and grab a bunch of sticks and stuff. Um, I might bung on another uh, bit of coal, because I know I'm going to be here for a while. I'm going to take the opportunity to craft up 
as many teas as we can, which is not a lot. It's one. That's terrible. Oh well. Just that. That is miserly. Okay, right. Uh, scrap metal. It's just going to weigh me down for a while. That's what I reckon. Hello, antiseptic. I didn't even know that could just spawn hanging around like that, but there you go. I'm interested in tea ingredients and sticks. Am I interested in stones? How many stones do I have? Eleven stones. That's eight more than necessary. Sticks are good, though. Sticks are real good. Wolves are not good. Let's not have any wolves. Oh jeez! <laughs> Can't feel my feet. Ah, not catching a break, are we? Okay, that's, that's fine. Wolves, um, bears don't like fire, so I'm sure we're fine next to this. Right, grab water, make water. How did that phrase go? Give a man fire, be warm for a day. Set a man on fire, be warm for the rest of his life. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Timmy. I'm doing very well. Finally made it to Japan. And what better way to spend my time in Japan than getting molested by bears in the long dark? I don't know where that bear is, but I'm sure this is bad news for me. You see a bear? I don't see a bear. Some place to escape this cold. Is this coal? I would love coal. Oh, coal's so good. Coal hole is so good. One of the problems with coal in this game, in my opinion, though. Yeah, I see the bear, but don't worry, he's he's off on his own. He's searching for that honey pot. One of the problems with coal is that it's so good, but you you find it in huge quantities inside mines, and it's so heavy you can't really drag it out of there. What a problem to have. Right, what can I make? Pretty sure I could make uh, this newsprint into a couple of Tinder plugs, which would be a useful use uh, useful use of ten minutes. Maybe, but unlikely. Best use would be tea, but I don't think there's any tea ingredients around here. Mm, heading north. There is, there is Yogi Bear's cave up north, but I'd rather be a bit warmer if I'm going for that. And I'm not warm at all right now. All right, well, just in the interest of passing some time to get warm, I think I will make these tinder plugs. Because this newsprint isn't going to do me much use. You're dragging coal out of mines. <laughs> Considered a physically intensive job. You don't say. Right, give me that. I'm actually going to cook the tea already, because I'm going to want the warmth bonus when I'm on the move. And I'm really hoping that it stays clear. Jesus, it's cold. Okay, I can't make my way through there. Yeah, who would have guessed? It's cold here. I shouldn't have made tea, I should have made water. I'd have more time for exploring if water were on. And I don't want to use up all my stamina in case Yogi Bear comes to rip me open. Trousers first. Nice. Which part of Japan are you in? I am at Lake Biwa right now. I landed in Tokyo and spent about five or six days there. Wouldn't recommend it. It's a uh, it's an urban hellscape, and I don't generally like that. Lake Biwa is okay, but uh, I definitely want to go more rural than this. Uh, I am not seeing tea ingredients here, which is a big bummer. I need tea. Right, I'm actually going to run back switch out my tea for water, and then if I get too cold wandering around there, I will actually consider just chugging some tea. Don't want to, though. I really don't want to. Okay, I thought that was an item. Maybe a stick. Outer loper. Grateful for every stick I find. There we go. In fact, it's almost burnt, so... Slam on some more of that. At least this fire is going to go for a while. I'll go for a heck of a while, given that I have this uh, coal on me now. Moldy granola bar. Eating that could give me food poisoning, so I'd rather not do that unless I absolutely had to. 
Yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're actually going to do the unthinkable and chart the area. Mostly just because I really need to warm up and I might as well do it productively. So I know this poacher camp is here. 18 minutes until that water is boiled, so... Eyes and ears at the ready in case Yogi gets some ideas, but... He wouldn't be coyed by a little fire that I hold. Oh, starvation for sure, Priam. I don't know how I would find enough uh, food to go for well-fed this early into Outer Loper. And I'm sure it's possible, right? Especially if you really rush your way towards carving up some um, some fallen deer or even uh, spooking them into wolves and having the wolves do the job for you. Speaking of which, I could go and get myself a nice bit of venison right now. I would stink a bit, but I do have a hacksaw, so this could be done quite quickly. As long as my friend Yogi doesn't come and ruin my day. Six minutes? Worth it. And then we just hear the roar, and then over comes Yogi to end my miserable life. Feathers are great. I always take feathers. I mean, I was mostly here for some tea ingredients, but we have to we have to play as if this is going to be the most successful outer loper run you've ever seen in your life. And that means if we see an opportunity like that, we take it. I still want some tea ingredients, though, but I'm not, not finding them. I don't want to go too far away, either. Soon enough, I'm just going to have to grab torches and get going. At least it's coming up to the warmest part of the uh, warmest time of the day. We still have that frostbite risk, though. Is it going away, or does it grow? I thought if you kept your internal temperature above enough, it would go away on its own. Maybe it doesn't work like that. I, as I said before, I don't know this game particularly well. But I sure... Okay, well, we're going to get more frostbite if I don't make my way back ASAP. Just keeping my eyes peeled for more... Um, more delicious uh, tea ingredients and sticks. All right, it's boiling. Nothing I can cook aside from my existing rosehip tea, so more water it is. I mean, I could read some outdoor survival guide right now just to keep ourselves going. Any ticket advice you can give me? All the flights to Japan I we're looking at are ridiculously priced. I think I got here for about 700 quid from Stockholm, which didn't seem that bad. Besides, you know, I'd pay any amount of money to get out of Stockholm. <laughs> um, but yeah, general life update to me is uh, I'm 80 or 90% sure I'm going to move to Hungary, but I came to Japan just to see if this was going to win me over. And it's a good and magical place, but it hasn't won me over yet. Maybe when I go elsewhere, my mind will change. Right, this moldy-ass venison is going to turn into a delicious bit of venison for us. Don't know if we're going to eat it immediately, but we will have it at least. Condition loss is going to be a big deal, so I need to be wary of that. I also need to be wary that I don't stink. Sadly though, there's very little I can do with my time right now. I'm too far away from getting any more tea ingredients. But we're coming up to the warmest time of the day, so once we're done uh, cooking this venison and boiling this water, I will grab a bajillion different torches, and we're going to make our way to Mystery Lake. Now, do I know what to do in Mystery Lake? Do I buggery? I have no idea. But we'll go there and try and figure it out. Which airline did you use? I used Turkish Airlines, and it was one of the better airlines I've ever been on. It was really quite good. God, I feel so bad not doing stuff with my time. The bear is right there, isn't he? I can hear him. He's probably sniffing out my delicious moldy venison right now. Mm, to be fair, I could go for some moldy venison right now. 
The food in Japan is a varied bunch. It's not been universally amazing, but there have been some pretty dire things. I didn't think Okonomiyaki could get that bad, but man, it got bad when I had it. And if you don't like rice and fish, you're in for a miserable time here, culinarily speaking. I'm gonna drink that. I'm actually thinking of drinking uh, one of these Summit sodas because it's... Yeah, go for it then. Too heavy, but it gives calories and water. When you go to the only place that doesn't have a queue. <laughs> yeah, there's that. Well, I'm not used to the idea of queuing up for my food. Uh, right. I want that rose hip tea to be warm when I'm heading out as well. I do wish I had a lot more. And one of the biggest issues that's facing me right now is that I still don't have any source of ignition. Mm, I'll keep the coal because I'm going to need that for um, getting temperature wherever I'm going. For now, though, this should be fine. Grab you. Let's make sure you're right in the fire so you get as warm as fast as possible. Take that. It doesn't make me stink, fortunately. Now let's just load up on torches, even if they're terrible, and some of these are going to be outrageously terrible. Uh, no, no, it's not cooking time, it's grabbing torches time. Torches a million. Grab the torches, grab the tea, and get going. Now unfortunately I still have frostbite risk, but as I said, we're coming up to the warmest time of day. I'm not in the warmest time of day in real life right now, actually. This, um place I'm staying at is surprisingly cold. <laughs> I'll go figure. A lot of people told me this is too early to come to Japan, but I could wait no longer. You know, you don't know how much torture it is for me staying in Sweden. I don't want to be there. It doesn't want me there. I do nothing but badmouth the place whenever I'm there. Getting some good torches, but plenty of crappy ones too. Now that's a great torch. Mm. And another great torch. Seems a weird game concept that you just pull these amazing torches out of a fire that's made of coal and cattail, but I didn't make the game. Right, give me that and let's go, and let's hope that a bear isn't here to cleanse us, cleanse us of our trousers. Feels like minus 11, which isn't great, but it's not the worst. This fire is definitely helping with that. I am not going for the cache that we were told about, though. By the way, okay, so it's just after the F in Frostbite Risk. I want to check and see if that's actually going up or down. I think it'll go down because our internal temperature is quite good. But it might go up just because you're in a colder than freezing place with your bits exposed. And the reason is because both my head and my hands are exposed. I'm no fan of Sweden either, says Timmy, but which part of this snowy and wet land didn't appeal to you? Which... <laughs> I've talked to you at length about how much I don't like Swedes or Sweden or anything about being there. Oh, you, you probably just want me to rile up Swedes, which we know we have around here. And what riles them up the most is that they know I'm right. Anyway. Balaton's looking good, and my heart does cry out for the the waters of Balaton. <clears throat> but I'll be heading north soon and seeing what there is on the Sea of Japan coastline here. Right, I'm going to switch this out early because I know this isn't set up. There we go, get the crappiest torch going. Jake, why are you using your crappy torches? Well, all torches weigh the same. They all weigh... 300 grams, I think? Yeah. Yeah, 300 grams, which is quite heavy, given that your carry capacity limit is uh, 30 kilos, and that drops down to 15 kilos as you get more and more tired, and we don't have any of the bonuses to it for quite some time. So we might as well burn out the torches that have the lowest burn time on them first. That lets us shed more weight faster. It also means that if we're in a situation where I really want a torch that's going to last a while, like I'm walking through wolf territory or something and I need to keep the defense up with fire then I can whap out a great torch that will have, I will of course saved for that occasion thought for sure I heard something sneak out by me there but must be my imagination right if it's still hot which it is I'm gonna drink my rose hip tea and that will warm us back up 
and give us a bonus to stop this uh, this heat from leaving us so quickly. Please, Timmy, you cannot pull off a 24-hour stream whining about Sweden when he's traveling. <laughs> Just try me. Right, tools are a nice find. I can repair stuff with that. Although, what I would have to repair, I don't know, because I'm just carrying around sticks and stones right now. Eh, not true. I've got a hacksaw. Right, I'm going to switch out for a fresh torch. I will be constantly carrying this fire because I have no source of ignition. And I'm going to wait and look at my map because I'm very, very unfamiliar with Mystery Lake. I, I gotta say, it's actually quite nice having paper maps for this. Feels a lot better than uh, tabbing out to another screen to, to check it out. Right, I know that Mystery Lake has a train track that runs through it. Um, I don't know where I can sleep that's outdoors here. Uh, well, I'm not sure if I can actually sleep anywhere that's outdoors here. I could continue over to the ravine. I can't quite remember where that leads to. Um, there's a lot of nice places that I can't actually make use of because of uh, because of it being indoors. Crikey, I have no idea where I can even sleep around here. It's all uh, it's all indoors stuff. There might actually be nowhere that I can sleep here. So the question is, do we just go or? Do we hunt and get very tired in here? I don't know. But there's some pretty nice loot that I want to be getting while I'm here. So I think I'm actually going to take a slight diversion, but largely make my way through the area. That's my idea. By the way, if anything happens to the stream, yell at me on the chat, because I can see the chat. But uh, that's because it's on my tablet. On my main screen here, on my laptop, I see only the game. Normally when I'm back at my glorious PC setup, uh, I run the game windowed in a large monitor, and I can see the chat, I can see the game, I can see OBS and any issues with the streaming, like dropped frames and such. And I even see my Twitch chat uh, dashboard. Once upon a time, I had a functional fourth monitor, even, that's on a very convenient arm. <laughs> that I bought for practically nothing when Amazon Sweden launched because they didn't do their price conversions quite right. I think I picked the thing up for a few quid. It's worth a whole lot more than that, and they're not getting it back. Right, reason I'm coming over here, birch bark. Oh, birch bark's going to be like gold dust to us on Outer Loper. It warms you up, it gives you calories, it gives you water, and it gives you condition. The only thing it doesn't give you is awakeness. The only thing that gives everything in this game is coffee. And uh, we will not be finding a lot of coffee. Right. This torch is dying. Now, if my torch runs out for reals, I'm in a huge problem. This is my only source of fire. I have no matches, no source of ignition. So I have to hope that I find some matches. Uh, and that's unlikely because there's there's no option to loot the indoors on Outer Loper. Well, the option is there, but it's against the rules. And I am a stickler for my rules. I'm very arbitrary, but the rules I have, I like to stick to them. <laughs> of course, there's <laughs> nothing in the rules about breaking the rules, is there? But I digress. Actually, frostbite risk isn't really going down, despite us supposedly being warm. Right. Some crows are over here. Dead body means maybe some food to carve up, or also maybe some stuff to loot. Where are they? Uh, well, I'm not seeing a deer car. I'm seeing a man car uh, carcass. Now, no matter how hungry you get, you cannot carve up a person for food in this game. Oh, my God. The indignity of giving me nothing. Absolutely nothing. I took a, I took a ways away just to check this out, you know. Is that the only... Oh, hang on. Oh, no, those crows are just uh, flying away. Now, I have had someone tell me that crows flying is an indication of a bear. Do I believe that? No. 
Am I going to be more wary of a bear because of hearing that? Yes. Don't blindly believe, but you can trust and verify. Right, I am very grateful that the game has not decided to start blowing a blizzard at me, because as I said, if I lose this fire, I lose my only source of, uh, of fire. I'm tempted to warm up a bit. Did I find enough to make another cup of tea? I did, and I am actively walking away from shelter. Um, but it's a really good time to ask her. I'm actually going to make a wee fire here. In this little hidey hole bit, because there should be no wind whatsoever. I'm going to use the torch I have. I will not use the birch bark. I will just get a little fire going, warm ourselves up, get some tea, get some birch bark tea, and keep going. Now, top tip. Use a torch to start a fire. Now, it's the only thing I can start the fire with, but using a torch that's already lit saves you a match for making each, uh, each fire. Uh, work. Now, it's very frustrating when you keep failing to start the fire, but at least you're only losing your tinder, not losing your match. I failed to start a fire six times in a row yesterday, then I died to a wolf who had no fear of fire. Well, I'm, I'm clocking up the failures here. That's my third. 60% chance of succeeding. <laughs> Someday I'll go crawling to the fire starter perk and stop saying that feats are for chumps. Oh, never. Feats are for chumps. Right, there we go. All right. Not too shabby, my friend. Now we're just going to chuck some... Oh, I don't have a lot of sticks. Let's screw it. Shove on this firewood. Um, M and M and M. That should give me a little bit of warmth, right? Feels like minus four. That should warm up nicely. Uh, do I want to make water while I'm here? Tell you what, I will actually, since it's very quick to make, I'm just going to make some birch bark. It's only five minutes. Da -da 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 -da. I am warming up a little bit, courtesy of this. And then let's cook said birch bark. How much water do I have? One and a half liters or so. Ooh, this isn't warm at all. I'm actually going to chuck on a bit of coal just to warm myself up something fierce. And whilst that is all going on, I'm going to prepare some rose hips. Firm believer in cups of tea in this game. Oh, they'll, they'll save my life. Don't know about your life, but they'll save mine. So we're going to have that get ready. Oh, no, 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 no. I did not mean to drink that. I meant to put it here. sure I messed something up by doing that. Uh, okay, ten minutes till you're ready. You'll burn out soon enough. I don't have anything else to reasonably be making here. So, so, so... I think I'm going to make my way along and out of here over to the ravine. Where's the ravine lead again? If I come out of here to the ravine... Ooh, I like Coastal Highway. I know Coastal Highway. Kind of. Uh, kind of no Pleasant Valley as well. Well, let's hope it can be a clean enough journey over there. Time for torches. It's always time for torches. But if, um, if a fire whips up, I am in a lot of trouble. Uh, not a fire. A wind. Although I suppose if fire whips up, I'm also in trouble. Jake is playing this game for so long now, expecting him to join one of those TV shows I send groups of people with almost no equipment into the wilderness. Oh, I would die. I, I am under no delusions. Me in a survival situation is a very dead me. Do I have another stick? Throw on a stick. Grab that stick. Grab my tea. Grab my tea maker. Grab you. And uh, let's go. This torch is really good, but I'm not going to faff around by throwing it away. I'm also going to generally lose my lose my bearings, aren't I? Where am I going here? Ooh, well it only feels like minus two. It's actually very warm. Let's hope that we can find some more birch bark on the way out of here, because birch bark is amazing. It restores condition, and that alone is really good. Is that birch bark over there? Ooh. I don't know. No, I think it's just a rock. 
Uh, I don't want to break my delicate Canadian ankles going up here, so let's just sprint to the top to get rid of the risk of snappy snapping. Eyes open for sticks. Eyes open for practically anything of use. The only thing I don't think I'd pick up off the ground at this point is a stone. That's just because i got plenty of stones. <laughs> don't I just... Well, I'm not sure what the point of going up and down this thing was. I hope I'm going the right direction. Uh, it would also be nice if there were more tea ingredients here, which there are. This is a deadfall area. Where that is, I don't really know. Oh, I think I do know, actually. Oh, Christ, Fido knows. Right, I don't stink, but uh, Fido, you have got to go. So, I'm going to... Make him come over here, and then he's going to notice the fire, and then he's going to run off. That was an ideal encounter with Fido. Uh, there's a cabin here. Now, if it has a warmth bonus, I can't go inside and loot it, or stay in it, or anything with it. But I'm not even sure it's functional. I will investigate, though. It might be something around it. Nothing saying... Oh, oh, it's completely broken open, so this is okay. It feels like minus three outside when we step inside. There will not be a warmth bonus. Also, these rose hips, wow. Even though this place is crapola, it's a decent find. So no warmth bonus means it's okay. It's a second hacksaw. <laughs> That'll come in handy. <laughs> I'll take it, why not? Uh, ooh, a second can is surprisingly good. I'll take some charcoal as well. Um, but I'm not going to use that. Not going to use this graceful opportunity. Hey, that wasn't too shabby a find. If I didn't already have a hacksaw, I'd be... Well, I wouldn't be jumping for joy, but... Uh, I'd be figuratively jumping for joy. Which is just as good. Okay, we have been uh, chancing it for a long time now and not having any wind. So I am firmly expecting the game to... Say, so that's it. You've had your good fortune now. Here's a blizzard. Haven't even had snowfall, come to think of it. Even so, collecting every little stick we can, uh, messing up my menu inputs, grabbing a really crappy torch, holy moly, and uh, I'm actually going to finish off this Burke Bark Tea, warm up, and finish off the, uh, the healing up bonus that it gives. It's very... Oh, it's very warm, frankly. But that's mostly because of the time of day. Once that sun sets, it's going to get a whole lot colder, darker, and inherently more dangerous. And I don't want that. You probably do, but I don't. Yeah, Frostpunk Scouts will be having a, a day of it here. Right, I'm still going to switch this out. That was a cr super crappy torch. It Once upon a time, it was a good torch, but uh, it failed to light a fire three times in a row and became crappy during the time spent doing that. So, 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 we're going to try and hopefully find the uh, the railway, which I would have thought I'd find by now. Wasn't it in this direction? I'm going to have to stick north soon. Oh, Christ. Well, thankfully I don't need both arms working. I'm definitely going to take the sapling, though. Sapling's good. Pain bad. Right, where in the world is north? My beloved stick. Uh, also, where's my stick? Drop one stick. Stick says that is north. Okay. Thank you. We'll try to generally head in this direction. Well, maybe a little to the right of it. I don't know if those are some moving birds or just some... Uh... Well, actually, if they're, uh, they're birds over a corpse, that's interesting to me. Doesn't sound like they're moving. Is there a corpse over here? Corpses are nice. Uh-huh, uh-huh, okay. Hopefully it's a human corpse with matches, because I'm very much desperate for matches right now. Any source of ignition is going to prolong my life because I am at nature's mercy right now, the moment it starts getting all windy. Oh, I'm down and out. Matches, please. Oh, it's not matches, it's nothing. 
All right, where was where was North again? Fortunately, we have great divining powers, so just by dropping a single stick, we know that this is North. Oh, man, that blows. I don't want to run too much because we're already really tired, but uh, if I don't make some headway to finding some matches, I'm making some deadway. What's the objective in this game? It's just survive, Timmy. Survive until you die. You can survive indefinitely. There are the resources to do that. Even playing Outer Loper. Because whilst almost everything in this game is finite, there is just enough infinite resources to barely keep you alive. Infinite resources being animals, for food, and for, uh, for repairing um, clothes that you make out of animal skin to the mid and late game. And also uh, sticks. Sticks and coal are renewable, funnily enough. Meaning that you'll always have a source of fuel for your fires. The mode Jake is playing on Survive, more specifically is... Oh yeah, yeah, there are, there are missions and story modes in the game. I think they suck, so I'm not bothering with them. But maybe you think the writing of this game is brilliant. I hope that's... Oh, that is a... Uh, whatchamacallit, isn't it? The big bad boy, the moose, he's not cowed by fire. If he sees me and wants to kill me, he just... Is he the moose? I can't actually tell. Maybe I shouldn't chance it. He's got antlers, but he doesn't seem as big as the moose. Ah, oh, jeez. Well, let's hope he's not. Alright, well, our... Oh, crikey, this is going as well. It's of vital importance that we don't lose our only source of fire right now. The writing isn't even that bad. Ah. Well, granted, it was about mm, six years ago that I played it, but I found it uh, unpleasant. The episodic stuff. It's an edible deer, yeah, but I have nothing to kill it with. Hey, we found the train tracks. We can hobble our way forward yet. Meaning that following them in that direction is the way to get to the ravine. Uh, but there's no beds along the way. We are going to be very tired. Um, and we're going to be very over capacity as well. There's the camp office. I cannot make use of that. However, oh, let me think about this. There are some fishing huts out there. And fishing huts do not count as... Um, they do not count as buildings for the purpose of this challenge because they don't give a warmth bonus. And they do have items in them. It's a bit of a detour. And if a wind whips up, I am uh, defenseless against the animals here. But it's also an opportunity to... Did I get ingredients for tea? Yeah, I did. I got the mushrooms. Right, it's an opportunity to actually warm up and cook up some uh, some teas. So we're going to take this potential opportunity or potential death sentence. Depends how the weather holds and what the wolves do. And there are wolves here. I've been here before. So if this were just a normal run, I would be hobbling my way into that camp office, sleeping off this sprain, uh, grabbing all the goodies inside there, but I cannot. Oh, but this this is all right. However, I think I'll step inside to, to demonstrate something. What I mean by warmth bonus, out here. Actually, no. It's obvious it's going to be a warmth bonus in there. Be a waste of everyone's time to step inside. I'll do it when there's a less obvious warmth bonus providing building. All right. I don't know what's so mysterious about this mystery lake. I guess the mystery is if I'm going to survive here or not. But there are some there are some fishy huts here that I want to check out. And some wolves that I really don't want to check out. Is this Jake's first attempt today? Why not? Let's go with that. This is Canada 1. God, we are slow and we can't run. This is awful. And I have no cloth to make a bandage with, so I cannot um, I cannot take care of the sprain. The restore condition is now over, so I'm not passively regaining condition thanks to that birch bark tea. However, 
I didn't lose a lot of condition on the first day. Normally, on when I start up, I have a really rough time at the start. Um, so I take a lot of hypothermic damage. Even half of my condition can go like that. But this time, we didn't lose much. And if you don't have any of your statuses in the bottom left in the red, so you're not freezing, you're not lacking sleep, fully that is, uh, you will slowly regain condition 1% per in-game hour. That might not sound like much, because it isn't much. Okay, so this building, it's minus 5, and it's minus 3, but that's only because of wind problem. The air temperature doesn't change, meaning that these buildings are okay. But I'm just going to scout them and move on, and maybe on the last one I'll set up a fire, make some water, make some teas, and ready myself for a... Uh, long and incredibly unpleasant journey because we're going to be so tired that we're going to be very slow and our carry capacity is going to be murdered. Gun murdered. There are, by my count, four fishing huts here. There's also a, a lovely cabin, but I can't make use of that cabin because it's an indoor cabin. Can you light the entire hut on fire? That would be nice, wouldn't it? But no, we cannot. Always looking around. As much as I'd like to take some charcoal and do some mapping, that's not an option for us. Uh, gloves would be amazing to mitigate frostbite risk. At this rate, anything would be amazing, game. Come on. <laughs> Reclaimed wood for some fuel. Oh! Oh, now that's good. A new took. That's a huge temperature bonus. We're almost warm in here. A new took. Jeez, okay, well. This run is loaded, I just wish I wasn't hobbling. And we are hobbling. Jake, burning club, dying. Burning club, still alive. Okay, gonna go there and there and then onwards towards the ravine. Now, I don't think there are any beds in the ravine that I can use either. There's one I could use if I brought a rope with me. I don't have a rope. All I can think. Stop thinking about food. Start thinking more about staying alive, friend. Oh, is that some delicious reclaimed wood I see? Check the nooks, check the crannies. Sewing kit is a good find. Means we can actually repair the stuff we have. Well, it's not that great a find, but it is a find. I'm going to take that torch back so I'll be salvaging it back into a stick at the next one. Oh my god, these... These are not... Okay, I shouldn't complain. We did get that new took. Oh Christ, which direction were we going from here? Was it there? I think it's there. This is probably north. Why... Why not be sure when you can be sure? Uh, nah, screw it. We'll just believe. Is that a bear? Hope to god that's not a bear. I don't stink, but, uh... But I don't want to deal with bear. So you just be on your merry way, Yogi, and I'll be on mine. Bear? There's nothing in the rules about me having to deal with bears. Jeez. See, over there, there's a lovely looking wee hut, isn't there? Pretty sure that can be entered, and I'm even more sure that there's a warmth bonus in it, so I can't use it. Also, See all that ca 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 I think there is a corpse over there, which I will check out shortly. Even though there's a door on this building, it won't give a warmth bonus. Of that, I'm certain. And we can check. It's minus seven. It's... Wait, it's minus four? I think that's a minor warmth bonus, which is okay. <laughs> we'll go with that. Why not? There's a very obvious and large warmth bonus that you get from, uh, from proper buildings. Cloth is nice, that's good for repair. Don't worry, I'm sure I'll give an example of that when I find one. I was hoping to find something inside one of these. Um, tell you what, since I'm about to check out the other area anyway, let's light you up. Not using reclaimed wood, because the odds of starting a fire with that are lowered. Already breaking its own rules. I know what I'm in for here. I want your clothes, your boots, and your picnic basket, says Yogi. He wants my trousers, he always does. Right, so out you go. Let's add in firewood because it's really heavy. Reclaimed wood because it's kind of rubbish otherwise. 
And I might have made too much already, truth be told. But even so, let's uh, make ourselves some water. When in doubt, always more water. Empty, empty, empty. And I'm going to take it. Oh, wow, Christ, that's a good torch. All right, then, forget those torches. Do I have a really crappy torch? No, give me a crappy torch. Uh, that's okay, but it'll do. I just want to check over here, see what the corpse is. If it's something that I can eat or something I can loot, that's good. Quit moaning about your fingers, laddie. Again, we have still not found any matches. I know we haven't exactly covered a lot of time, but any amount of time covered on Interloper without matches is a... Well, you're playing a dangerous game. Right. Oh, jeez, Yogi, I think, has noticed the... F is he coming in this direction? I think he has. I don't want to have to deal with Yogi. At least water takes a while to boil. There's bones here indicating that this is Yogi's home. And I'm still limping, so if Yogi decides he wants a piece of me, he just gets a piece of me. There's not much I can say about it. Oh, for God's sake, why do you have to... <laughs> Go away! <laughs> I can't deal with you! <laughs> it's my fishing cabin now. Okay, well, if Yogi is keen on uh, drinking that water that I'm boiling... I suppose I could at least look over here, right? Might be something around the outside of the building. Is he... Did he just turn towards me? I can't really tell. But I don't like what I see. My god, this freaking hobbling is... I mean, sprained or not, I think I could leg it if a bear started uh, gunning for me. Well, actually, uh, I'd probably just accept my lot in life. Uh, also, I'm getting really cold, and I don't want that. I want to go back and warm up for a bit. Also, also, I can hear wolves. So let's just keep our distance from Yogi. We're now hungry. I will consider eating when I'm back inside my little fishy cave. And if Commander Shepard could stop complaining for five seconds... <coughs> pardon me. You know, with my regular setup, I can check to see that I've successfully muted myself or not, so when I start coughing and spluttering away, I'm not doing it right in your ears. Hopefully I got it right this time. And even more hopefully, I uh, have unmuted myself so you can hear me again, right? Come on, come on. Get warm, get warm, get warm. Ah, toasty. I'm right on time. Gonna put this out, gonna put this away. Gonna grab some water. We're going to cook some more water, question mark? Oh, I don't know. It's about to get really grim out there, and we're gonna get really tired. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop some stuff, because I'm way too heavy. I don't think I need tools. But what if I do? Well, then I'll have to remember they're here. No, tools are useful. Gonna drop our crummiest hacksaw. Basically, I'm going to try to drop everything that I can afford to drop. I don't even want this moldy granola bar. I'm just going to drop it here. It might be calories, but it's a risk. I'm going to drop all this scrap metal. Can't afford it. I'm even going to drop Survive the Outdoors, I think. I'm going to harvest these. I think I'll just eat this. Keep my condition and my, uh, my hunger up a bit, because I can't sleep for a while anyway. I'll drink, uh, I'll drink water when I can, and let's see, what are we putting you? I'm going to put in this reclaimed wood, a few sticks, and I'm going to make some tea. Actually, this is a pretty terrible place to make tea, but I should make at least one bit of tea just to warm up with. And whilst that is warming up, I'm going to harvest my busted torches, because they're still heavy, even when they're crummy like this, but if I turn them into sticks, they're lighter and I can burn them better. Going back to work, have a great stream, says Timmy. Send a photo or two from your trip to Japan. Oh, I'm compiling my photos together. 
uh, one that I send to family and another that uh, you can see if people are so perverse they want to check it out. And I want to be here for longer to warm up. I can do that actually. I can prepare some rose hips. The time spent warms me up a wee bit. Not much though, it's getting cold here. I want to cook those rose hips while I'm at it. Probably just going to add some more sticks because I'm, I'm likely going to need a lot of torches where I'm going. And I'm really hoping it's not getting windy out there. Whilst they are going along, I'm going to... Ooh, bandage! Right, I do want bandages. Let's make bandages so we can get rid of this sprain. Frostbite risk has finally healed. We've carried that since the very start. Alright, that ankle, I gotta fix it. Sprained ankle is being fixed right now so we can actually walk a little less crappily. Taking my tea, taking my can, and probably just taking my torches, even though... It's going to be heavy. It's not going to be insurmountably heavy. Now, a clever person would write a note about what they've left here. Survive the outdoor book, some scrap metal, a hacksaw. I will not. If this ends up being an amazing outer loper run that goes on for weeks and weeks, then I'm sure I can check in the VOD and make notes from there. As for now, though, we're still on tender hooks. The biggest reason being, we don't have matches. And we're going to start losing condition when we merge from here. For a number of reasons. Uh, hold that thought. I'm just going to make sure that these guys are getting and staying as warm as they can. What a crappy torch this is. Um, hey, even the pain has kind of gone away. Some other pain is still there, but drinking rosehip can help with that. Yeah, Church of Japan is a visit for a potential move. I don't think Japan's going to win over Hungary, because uh, the place I found in, in Hungary ticked all the boxes for me. Even boxes I didn't think I had. Right, where are we... Ah! Please, no bear. Do not, do not consider me food. Um, so maybe we can stay here for a little longer? He's right on the other side of that wall, isn't he? Now, this is funny, because a, a, a bear could just smash this down if he wanted a piece of me. However, I don't think bears are known to hunt humans unless they're really hungry. We, we don't make for that good eating. But, there's not a lot of food to be had out here. So I wouldn't put it past Yogi wanting to uh, wrap his chompers around me. Yeah, well, for fortunately, it's not polar bears around here. Okay, he doesn't, he doesn't seem to be here now. A job! <laughs> Jeez, that's scary. The phantom bear. Right, tell you what, I'll just back the hell away from the bear. Take note of where he is, but generally go away. It feels like minus seven and it's getting colder. I need to get out of here. Quick glance at my map to actually check that I know where I'm going, which I don't. This is unfamiliar to me, but I'm so tired. I, just I think I have an idea. Unfortunately, I'm really slow and I'm now losing condition due to being tired. But as long as wind doesn't whip up and kill my torch, I should be alright against uh, people trying to kill me, or rather, animals trying to kill me. The main problem is, I am no closer to having matches, because I don't know where they are around here. Again, I just have to hope that I find some. So I'm going to lose 1% condition per... Is this the way up? I think this will work. Uh, actually, I think I need to go around a bit more. 
I hope this is the right way. Again, I'm not familiar with this area. When I start taking hypothermic damage, that's when things are gonna get real dicey, but just gotta just gotta not panic. Making myself a fire and warming up again is totally an option. I just can't run anymore, we're too tired for that. So what do I go up and over here? Maybe. I will happily believe that. I would drink almost anything about now. Ooh, that's a good way to keep our weight down, actually. Just chug, chug, chug. And actually, I'm going to chug one of my hot drinks. Ooh, it's barely hot, but barely hot is hot enough to get the warming up bonus. I had no pain to treat, which is nice in its own way. Hopefully I don't generate some pain to treat. A horse. We're going to lose even more condition 2% per hour with uh, lack of sleep and lack of food. But starvation is a little bit important to me right now. What's also important is knowing where I'm bleeding going. It's too foggy for me out here. Stick, help me out here. That is north. Okay. Good to know. I do want to head stick north-ish. Oh, crumbs, you're dying on me. Oh yeah, I did the Dark Walker challenge. It was great fun. Particularly because I was completely unfamiliar with the game. So even though the Dark Walker challenge gives you some really good tools, I didn't really know how to use them, which made for a fun and interesting experience. At least from my perspective. And my perspective is good. Right, come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't break your delicate Canadian ankles here, please. That was fine. Gosh, am I stuck here? Come on, get up. I'd like to run up, but again, delicate Canadian ankles combined with pathetic Canadian lack of endurance makes this a, a no-goer. Oh, for God's sake, there goes our... Ankles yet again. Yeah. What the hell do they build Canadians out of? Pink wafers. Hello, Cairn. I might as well give it a quick glance. I have a level of gratitude to the backers that backed this project, meaning I can enjoy it. Without having to <clears throat> put forward the risk for it. Right. So it might look like I'm a little bit lost here, and that's because I am. But the game is being incredibly kind by not whipping up a windy storm. I don't have the fuel or the anything really to wait it out, and I would just be constantly losing condition in such a storm. So let's be grateful that it's not happening. Let's also be grateful if we don't snap more of our bones coming up here. I don't think I've seen a pink wafer in about ten years. Yeah, they still make them, I think. Right. I don't really know where this is, and I don't know if I'm going the right way. I'm just going to hope that I am. I think if you want to get to know your way around a map, you have to spend a lot of time. Okay, this does not seem like the right way at all. I think I'm going to take this other way around. We're overburdened, not because we're too heavy, but because we're too pathetically weak. How much overburdened are we? 20 out of 15. Now, normally it'd be 20 out of 30, but... Uh, Again, our pathetic weakness, our laughable Canadian spine, simply shatters at the very thought of having to carry anything of load. Oh jeez, I'm going way downhill. I hope this is the right way and not just taking me oh, right back to the, the, the watery area. It might be. Oh, I might be taking a very wrong path here. Well, if it is, I'll have to stop, make a fire, warm up, have some tea, and continue on. 
Well, there's trees. That's, that's maybe good. <laughs> or maybe I'm just... That isn't the stick that I dropped to find stick north, is it? I'm back at the bleeding uh, Mystery Lake. Okay, so trying to find my way around Mystery Lake, not happening. I'll have to take the plebeian way out of here. I don't have any birch bark tea to heal up with either, which is pretty bad. Right, well, see that's the difference between knowledge and experience. I had a map that showed that there was a route through there, but I don't have the experience to know the way to it. And that's on me. Just, there's probably a bear back there in the shadows stalking me. I wonder if I have many tea ingredients. God, I hope so. But, uh, yeah, I should be so grateful to the map for not whipping up a storm in my face because I have no way of surviving it right now. I don't have shelter that I can go to. I don't have stuff to burn. I don't have matches to start a fire with. And more than anything, I don't have anywhere to sleep. So I cannot even restore condition. Although I do have enough food to, uh, to eat if I were able to sleep. Hey, I've been here before. Good to know. I'm not going to grab that, though. We're, we're uh, too busy being massively overburdened as it is, and a cripple to boot. If I follow this way, I will make my way out of Mystery Lake. That much I know. And if I get back on the track, the literal railroad track, I will have shelter, but not a place to sleep on it. Unless I find a bedroll. Now, a bedroll is... Oh, it's probably at the very top of the list of useful items for an Outer Loper run that I can think of. I mean, sure, there's more utility to be had in a hammer and a hacksaw, because it'll get you to a bow and get you towards sustainability. But early on, a... Uh, oh, hang on, where the heck is this? Hold on, I need, to, I need to think where in the world I am. I think this was the way I was trying to find earlier, but instead I was wandering around... God knows where. Do I take this? I think I'll take this. I'll, I'll take the risk. I'll get me out of here sooner. Now, whether that's good or not, I don't know. Because I am passing up looting a... Well, either one or two different um, cabooses. Oh, I can't feel my feet. Are those cabooses any good? I don't know. What I do know, though, is that we are getting... Dang tired. Uh, right, tell you what, we're going to keep on going around here. If I climb up and over, there's apparently a cave with my name on it, and hello. If this turns into a useful run, I am going to want these. I'm going to let them... Uh... I'm going to grab these and ditch them in the cave that I'm hoping to find up here. Assuming I get up here. And that's already a pretty meaty assumption. I missed a bit. Is this still coal in the railway car run? This is still coal in the railway car run. And we are still carrying the same fire we had there. Desperately. Okay, well, I'm pretty much out of bits of my body to snap anyway, so... Even so, I'm going to grab sticks, because I might want to set up a big fire where I'm going. Come on, John Shepard. There are still so many more Batarians for you to kill. You can't give up now. There's a big temptation to hunt these rabbits and uh, gut them. The hacksaw, I think, would help out with that. I'm losing a ton of condition right now. Ten from being cold, another one from being tired, and another one from being hungry. Twelve condition per hour. It's a lot more condition than I want to be losing, that's for sure. <laughs> In real life, I'm really cold as well. There's like negative insulation. Oh, whoa, a hunter blind. That is useful, but shelter is more useful. And there should be maybe shelter over here. This doesn't really look like what I was after. 
I thought that'd be a, a nice, a nice wee cave for me over here. And I guess it's a cave, kind of. I don't think it counts as indoors. Not even by this game's standards. I'm, I don't think I'm getting a temperature bonus out here. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It's sheltered from the elements. So, torch, cattail head, stick. I need fire. Oh, there's a bear called Alvin. Hang on, what time is it here? I'm, I'm seeing a lot of different times. Oh, I've got a clock in the wall that tells me it's half ten. I hate the fact that it defaults to your birch bark. You never want to use birch bark as a tinder. It's much more useful as a... Um... um blah, blah, blah. Come on. As a tea. Come on. All right, there we go. It worked. Let's put this out on ourselves. Let's take note of the temperature. Feels like minus 10, right? A single bit of coal and a bunch of sticks. And that was maybe a bit too many sticks, but oh well. We're gonna be here for a little bit. Let's make some water. And whilst we're warming up just a little bit, let's prepare something that we can make tea out of. I can make a bunch of these. I'll make two for now. Probably gonna hunt those rabbits as well. Right, let's cook up that. How are we doing on sprains? Oh, pretty terrible. Both our ankles and one of our wrists are sprained. Uh, only one of our wrists means that I can still lob a stone, though. Is this indoors or out? I, I think this counts as. Uh, I think this counts as outdoors. Let's test something, shall we? If I drop a birch bark sapling, yeah, it's not curing at all, is it? Yeah. What a shame. Even so, I still think there's something to be said for. Give me that. Can I cook up another one, please. I think there's something to be said for getting my hands on some um, some rabbit. Oh, but more than anything, I want that blind, that hunter blind. Could have anything in it. Oh, shoot, what am I doing? I do not want to step foot out there without a torch. Especially since I can't run. Going without a torch, just suicide. Not even, not even very well assisted suicide. It'll be a while before that burns. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I have another, another one of you. So, if you could kindly make some water... Me and my ultra crappy torch are going to check out this blind. How's the tap water in Japan? It's good. It's really good, actually, even in Tokyo. And that surprised me. I'm pretty fussy when it comes to my tap waters. I mean, why wouldn't I be? I'm from Northern Europe. Tap water over there is just outright amazing. Ooh, I want that meat. I will strongly consider having that meat. Hmm. Blind first. Blind, then meat. And I'm probably just going to eat that meat because I don't want to risk the smell of it. Uh, these are nice as well. Rose hips. We're really living off the land right now. Again, if this were a regular interloper run, we'd be doing fine because we would have had access to the camp office. All the wonders in there. Good sleep. Hello. Oh. Oh, oh this is the run. We got the bedroll. I was just earlier talking about the ultra utility of a bedroll. Yeah, that's it. That's a terrific find. We're going to sleep here. Which means I want some food. So I'm going to grab all this meat. I'm just going to rip it off with our hacksaw that we were also quite fortunate to find. Not going to bother with a hide. Now I understand that there's a great merit to getting hides early. And I agree. However, I'm not a good enough player to rush hides and guts. Not a good enough player at all. Oh man, bedroll. Mm, what a find. Alright, sleeping here will allow us to recover condition and wake ourselves up. Let's not burn our tea. Um, I'm going to need a lot of fuel on this thing, and I don't have that much fuel. I don't want to waste too much coal, but that's about as good as I can do for that. Um, 
really have anything of use to cook here right now. That'll be boiled shortly. I'm going to see if I have any torches to harvest. I don't. What about this food, though? I want to cook this gamey venison. Ugh, it's like an hour. Uh, actually, I can sleep for an hour. I don't seriously need to condition back that much. I'm gonna eat this crummy granola bar just because, unlike the cattails, that will go off over time. Lay down our wonderful bedroll right here. It's not just the being able to sleep, it's a four degree uh, warmth bonus is pretty big. I cook another half liter of water. I'm going to sleep for one hour. And that'll give us uh, a bit of condition. More than anything, it's just giving us a bit of awakeness. Alright, huzzah. I'm just going to eat this venison right now. Pain is gone. Sprain is gone. My water is... Oh, God. Okay, that was boil. That was boiling dry, right? I think it was. 2 hours 15. Do I want to sleep longer? I do, but I don't want to use this coal. Um, let's trust that there's going to be more coal in the ravine, because I do want to sleep, especially since it's night time. Let's sleep for 3 hours then. Although, make sure you stay hydrated. There's a distinct hum in the background. Yeah, I don't have my usual noise cancelling stuff going on, so... Yeah. What did I say? Three hours. Also, three hours ten? So there should only be ten minutes left in this when we emerge bleary-eyed from our sleepy bag. No, 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 I turned off the AC. <laughs> uh, so no heating there. See, three hours did not pass on the fire. Something is weird about fires when you're not indoors. Anyway, uh, generally, we're getting a bit of condition back. I will once again load up on torches. I mean, I have a lot of torches, but I am ultra paranoid because... Is that a... Oh, well, I can tell that this wasn't really outdoors. <laughs> big gaping hole in the roof there. Um, okay. Still in trouble if I run into a wolf, and doubly so if this ends up being... Jesus, some ultra crappy torches. Um, Alright, there we go. Uh, tell you what, I'm still going to extinguish you. There's a minute left on you, and I'm going to take the opportunity to quickly equip this ultra crappy torch and light it. There we go, that was way too risky for virtually no gain, but I really wanted to squeeze every bit I could out of my torches. Now, let's hope for no nasty winds. For all we know, it was... Does that sound windy to you? It sounds windy to me. I also forgot to heat up my teas, so actually this could get really bad. Because I've still got no matches. Not getting charcoal for a map. Freaking charcoal. Fires get a bonus outdoors and burn for longer. Yeah, but how do you see... Ooh, really? Distract me so much. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Oh god, remember, this is my only fire, and it's the same fire we've carried since the very start. We have no further access to fire. I can't... I can't big up how important that is enough. Uh, at least night is subsiding. It will soon be the day, but it is bloody cold. I would like to start another fire, but I don't have anything to make a fire with. Let's hope the ravine has something. Coal... Sticks, even? A distinct lack of sticks here. That's a bit windy. I don't like that. I very don't like that. Our only defense against animals right now is to uh, run away from them. In a struggle, I guess I could... I'm not sure if you can use the hacksaw in a struggle, actually. Probably not. Doesn't seem like a very good weapon in a melee. Maybe against a human, because you can scare them with it. Nobody wants to be on the receiving end of those jaggedy edges. But find some place to escape this cold. I don't think a hungry animal looking to chew my gonards off is going to care. I don't like that wind. Really don't like that wind. Uh, it feels like it's whipping up, doesn't it? Whipping up to leave me defenseless against wolves that are going to come and chew on my greasy gizzards. Also hypothermia, that's really bad. I'll need to start a fire, but I have nothing to start a fire with. I will, though. Uh, maybe in the ravine I'll find some sticks or something, start a fire and... Um, 
Uh, make some tea. Some tea will keep me warm. There's some lovely trailers here. Good for sleeping in. Good for looting in. Uh, good for even breaking stuff down in. And we can do none of that because they're indoor and we're not allowed indoor. We're not allowed in the dam either. So don't get any funny ideas about the dam. Uh, I tell you what though, there's a car here and I shouldn't run past without investigating it. Decides to literally run when he says that. Oh, a small arms handbook. Any gloves in the glove box? Nope. Oh, ooh, what do we have here? A new cave. Cave to Milton. Well, uh, good, I guess. No matches, though. Remember, I'm here for matches. Mm, I was hoping I could find something of use here, especially something burnable, but no. Right, we're going to have to leg it then. I know there's a cave in the ravine. I remember being there on a previous interloper run, but uh, I am severely short on burnables. Right, out of Mystery Lake. LMNOPQR. Don't mind me, just switching map over to ravine. Ah, at least it's a small and easy enough to understand area, but I don't have the... Um, I don't have the rope to go down to a nice area. And there's a real nice area here. Yeah, I need I need fuel for a fire. I need to fire up, warm up, tea up. And then things should start looking a little better, but... There. That one stick will be a godsend. I mean, one stick alone would be a pretty godsend. It would uh, at least allow me to get some tea flowing. And I need the tea flowing. But yeah, right now, we need the biggest bundle of sticks we can get. And then get into the cave and warm up. All this birch bark, amazing. It will help us get back the condition that we are absolutely losing. Worst thing that can happen right now is a wind that's blowing out our fire. So actually starting the fire and then getting the sticks is a better idea. So let's actually double time. Start fire, then grab sticks. The only thing I will mm, change my plan for on that is if I find more birch bark. Because birch bark is that good. Right, so it's down here-ish, I think. God, I don't like the sound of that wind. But it might just be the waterfall. Well, let's hope that's what it is. Also, I don't have that many sticks for a for a fire. As long as I'm not burning my birch bark for it. Building up that hunger doing this, that's for sure. More rabbits, but I'm not oh, is that birch bark? It is! You're right, that was well spotted by me. I know you're thinking that. And it's okay to say that. I know people think, think, oh, the done thing around here is just to slam into everyone for any slight misgiving. No, no, no. Punish harshly, but reward fairly. Uh, I think I made a wrong turn. I think I'm in the wrong spot here. I was meant to have passed by a cave. And instead I've come way too far. I think. Well, this is pretty bad. Because I'm freezing here. Literally freezing. Alright, hold on, hold on. Just think for a moment. I've been here before. Why did I not find what I was looking for? Maybe I was running too fast and didn't notice it? It's okay to run. I can sleep. And I have enough cattails to chew on to sleep through. It's more a case of staying warm long enough. Something's making me feel tired. I know you're feeling tired, Shepard. Tired of Batarians still breathing. But where's that cave? I do not know how these amazing players can remember all the details of the map so well. I think even if I played this game for a thousand hours, I'd be going crawling back to my uh, my maps. Take Caesar 3, for example, that's a game that I know inside out. There are some people that know Caesar 3 better than me, but there aren't many of them. 
And even so, I have cheat sheets with information because I can't remember it all. Ah, this is it. Jeez, did I just run clean past you earlier? Right, no time to... Oh, a rope! Oh, a rope! Oh, jeez. Mm. Right, uh, right. where does the warmth bonus start? Should be a, a warmth bonus kicking in here, right? Or are we already enjoying the warmth bonus? That's a scary thought. Minus 14 here, minus 22 here. There must be a trick to doing this, but I shouldn't overthink it. Um, most important thing is get this fire going. Alright, cattail head, stick, fire, go. Okay, there's going to be some humming. But I am actually incredibly cold right now. The hell, I think like, holes drilled in the wall here or something. I'm staying in a nice apartment, but my god, it's so cold. Maybe they knew I'd be playing um, The Long Dark. Right. Bung on that firewood, bung on that coal, bung on some sticks. Turn this ruined torch into more stick. And, uh... Where can I find something to eat? Water is always good. Ah, there we go. There we go, there we go. I'm just going to chew on cattails and sleep for a bit here. Probably not going to sleep long enough to get much condition back. I can rely on birch bark for that. But what I really need right now is some warmth. Anything in here? Some coal? Oh, there was something at the, at the entrance. I remember that much. The rope, of course. But what's in the backpack? Mountaineering rope I will definitely be using on the way down. So I will rest up here, check out the ravine. But first, okay, so warm up, scout for more burnables, burn everything I can while sleeping, and then we go down the ravine. God knows what's down there, but it might be something good. Try putting on another layer of clothes. Well, if I had any, I would. If I had cloth to make makeshift uh, gloves, I would do that as well. But no, we're just living with frostbite risk permanently. Anything I can do while that's melting away? Ooh, heavens yes. Let's make that birch bark. Or prepare the birch bark. Mm, still taking a wee bit to boil, so we're going to prepare some rose hips as well. We're getting plenty of warmth right now. We're even regaining a little bit of condition, which is nice. Got water, got water. Make birch bark. Make birch bark. That's 10% condition regained just with these two, just like that. I shouldn't need a torch going out here. I don't think there's wolves. I've never seen wolves here before. Why would they start now? Ooh, and it's clearing up nicely. Still going to sleep through the morning, most likely, but I'm on the hunt for sticks and birch bark. Both are good. An hour and a half? I would make a nice bunch of goods, but an hour and a half with a hacksaw? <laughs> Jesus. Now this is a game made by Canada, probably to promote Canada, but uh, it's not doing much for me. Ten minutes for three sticks is not worth it, not when I can grab them just like one, two, three. Sadly morning is still cold time in game, just like in real life. There's a bit of inertia in temperature gain. What the hell was that noise? Okay, just a just a majestic creature of God. Hope God doesn't mind if I eat his creatures. So I'll be eating his creatures. That birch bark. I must not let it burn. That's very important. But I'm not out here for that long, so I don't think that'll be a problem. I'm even gonna grab this torch because I can salvage it for a stick. And I think that's about it. There's a stick over there. Do I go for it? Yeah, I go for it. Come on. Let's go back, get our birch bark tea, get some sleep. God didn't want you to eat his creatures. Why do you make them so tasty? Precies. Cool. 
All right, I'm going to eat and fuel up as much as I can. I'm going to hope that it's warm enough in that cave, though. Might not be, even if I'm at the back. But maybe it'll warm up enough that I don't need the fire. I survived another night. The problem is, if I don't keep the fire alive, I can't take the fire with me. And I might really want that fire. There's also a good argument that says, don't go down the ravine, you fool. Because the ravine's a dead end. I gotta, I gotta double back to get out of it. Something's making me feel really so, tired. So, if I go down and I don't find anything that great, I'm spending a lot of energy coming back out, and I might lose my fire during that as well. Hmm. Yeah, it's a difficult choice, isn't it? To go down the ravine or to keep moving to Coastal Highway. I actually think I'm going to... Oh, jeez, I don't know. Has anybody ever found matches down the ravine? Gimme, gimme, and cook. Rose hips and cook. I'll just take that back. Should I drink the birch bark tea now? I would like the condition. But I don't need the warmth. I'll save it for later. There we go. We'll be sleeping for three hours on this, I rather think. Three hours isn't a lot. I would like to sleep for more, but I don't have the heat. Oh, I've got a flare! I could always start a fire with a flare if I really needed to. You can, you can warm up with a bedroll. Yes. In a good in good conditions, I can warm up with a bedroll. Like finding a cave. A proper cave, not one of these crummy little... Uh, barely... Barely usable caves. But yes, you're right. That can be done. Right, gonna sleep for three hours. Which means I need to carbo-load. Which means we're eating cattail stalks for a little bit. Climbing down the ravine in mid-game is the way to Radio Tower and Bleak Inlet. Can I go to the Radio Tower? That sounds like a very indoor kind of place. Right. Campfire, don't let me down. Bedroll, also don't let me down. I'll sleep for three hours, please. Oh, I forgot about the birch trees. Well, it's only three hours. And I don't have the world's largest amount of them. Uh, even so, it might be a good idea to have them here. I can always come back for them. Is that... Oh, that sounds like a very, very bad time out there. Right, tell you what then. I'm going to uh, heat up my teas and uh, and move. Rose hip. Reishi. Oh, especially the birch barks. This fire, I don't think it can come with me. If I desperately need another fire... I've never been so hungry in my Why are you cooking so slowly over there? If I desperately need another fire, I'm going to have to use my flare, I think. Curiously, is it warm enough here to continue sleeping? Uh, I don't think it is, but it might be worth checking. If there's a blizzard going on, it's almost certainly not. Uh, where are they at? Let's just drop all these. They're really heavy. I don't think I have anything else to even consider curing with. Oh, right, of course, the, the rope. Right, I'm carrying around five kilos of waste of time. How long are you going to play? I need to know if I need to caffeinate. Now, that depends on the run, but I'm not slowing down. What time is it, anyway? It's 11 p.m. I reckon i got a good couple hours going in me. Unless, of course, this just all goes to Pete Tom. Right. I'm actually, yeah, I'm going to let this fire burn out, and I'm going to see if I can sleep here. Maybe not, because it's not very good. Not very good at all. Uh, and not having my warm teas is going to be a pain. But having more sleep would be nice. It'll be a while until these burn out anyway. Right, let's let that campfire burn out, see if we can sleep. If we can sleep, we sleep. If not, then we don't sleep. <clears throat> we keep moving. With hot teas. Uh, okay. Feels like... Oh, jeez. I guess the... the 
does the um, temperature slowly fall where you are? It certainly is falling, and it's not slowly falling either. Right, feels like minus three. It's staying at minus three, and this actually gives us four, so we're going to sleep. Yep, we're going to sleep and stay warm. Yeah, the Olympic flame has finally died out. But it lives on. We did find a flare. Also, it should be getting warmer. So, actually... I'm gonna carbo-load on even more of these stocks. And since it's warm and getting warmer... I'm actually gonna sleep for a few hours. Try to get some condition back. Four hours, maybe? So I don't fade into the long dark doing this. 11 p.m. Are you in Asia? Correct. I'm in Japan. I'm at Lake Biwa. Okay, good, 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 good. I mean, it's not not becoming a great time of day, but let's take our petrol. Let's, uh, I guess, take some charcoal. Let's complain about our lack of food. I'm going to nibble on something just to not lose too much condition. Our teas have all gone cold, so that's a shame. Load up on a bit of water and get moving. Now, it's quite warm, relatively speaking. So let's make use of this. If we run into a wolf, flare is about the only defense I have. However, the flare isn't truly one use. As long as the wind isn't picking up, we can use the flare and then light a torch off of it and have a new Olympic torch. Clever, isn't it? Uh, also, how do I get out of this place again? Um, I think I actually... No, I remember going through this before, right? There was an issue where I didn't know where to go. And the answer was you actually have to go across the area where you put the... Um, put the rope down normally. Now, I'm not going to deploy the rope because that actually takes a bit of time. So, I don't want to waste that time. I don't have the time to waste. It's... It might not be that cold, but it's not warm, so I'm actually going to leg it a bit. Coastal Highway does have some mines, as I recall, so regaining some warmth by ducking into a mine and using our sleeping bag is an option. <clears throat> but one of the best things I have, really, is that toque. Finding a new toque is two degrees warmth that we just get pretty much for free. Also... We need to enlarge the faggotry a whole lot more because we dumped all of our sticks on that fire. Ooh, birch bark as well. Birch bark is never bad. You see it, you grab it. And it is one of the very few renewable items in the game. As I said before, it gives you condition, it gives you warmth if it's a warm drink, it gives you hydration and calories. It's tremendous. Come now, McCain. We need a big bundle of sticks here. I'm so grateful for sticks in this game. They start out a bit crummy. They only give about seven minutes of warmth, but that does increase with your fire skill. Does the train car down the reveal? I know, but I do not think we're in a good enough state to go down the ravine and come back up. Uh, but, oh, gee, well, I've already, I've already gone away from the rope, haven't I? Oh, but it's very tempting. No, 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 no. We've made our decision. Let's stick with it. I don't know what's down that ravine. Hopefully nothing I'm going to miss. Ooh, hello. Might be something worth my time here already. And I'm not talking about this old man lichen. I'm talking about these rose hips. Oh, and this backpack, I guess. Whatever. Ugh. Excuse me for desperately wanting to find some matches. The plane crash, the one at the summit, yeah. I have been there before. Not legitimately, when I was flying around trying to figure out the, uh, the lay of the land. I found it. Hello? Is your name Ravaged? Because you are ravaging, and now I'm ravaging you. Do we just take the whole stinking lot? We do take the whole stinking lot. Takes a bit of time, gives me a lot of stink, and uh, we are hungry, but 
hopefully we don't run into any nasty um, nasty wolves. Can't be doing with a big bad wolf right now. And if he does, thump, I can drop this as a decoy. Ugh, do we have to drop the biggest one as the decoy? I could eat it raw, but the odds of um, the odds of getting nasty diseases is very high. Oh, I am actually sorely tempted to just start a fire and get going. I can't really handle this heat loss. It's minus eight though, and there is a cave up here. There is something to be said for just getting warmth by sleeping in the cave that's over here. I remember this cave because I was trying to deal with rabbits before. And the rabbits were running circles around me and my paltry attempts to nibble on them. Much to uh, Kitty oh, in chat's delight. Thing. And much to my chagrin. A kilo of venison when you're hungry and cold would be the tastiest food ever. Uh, I already love venison. Right? Don't need to convince me that that's a lovely meal. Ooh, candy bar. Ooh, sardines. Firewood as well. The hammer, that's a big find. It's sadly not very useful to me right now, but it's still big. Oh, feels like three degrees in here. Yeah, we should probably sleep up while we can. Right. Um, uh, let's eat this stale chocolate bar and have a kip. Yeah, we do love coming here, that's the thing. Mm, let's chance it with the sardines. Might give me food poisoning, and I hope to God it doesn't. But more than anything, let's uh, have a kip. Right, how long do we think? This is quite a lot of temperature, but it's about to get really nasty for traveling in. But I want to be warmer right now, so we'll take a kip for two hours. Is this interloper? You have a lot of tools already, it's just an older run. It is a brand new Outer Loper run, Jaren. Started today. That sounds really freakishly bad. Well, it just got pretty cold. I have a funny feeling we're going to wait this one out, and we're going to hope that it's warm enough at the back of this cave. It might not be. We can start a fire. I don't want to, though. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's bad. That's bad and getting worse. Do we start a fire? Do we start a fire? Uh, what, are my, what are my options here? I don't really have any other options. Unfortunately, it's going to be a new Olympic flame if we start a fire right now. At least I can cook my venison. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I will freeze to death if I don't start this fire. So, flare. Activate. Cattail head, stick, lit flare. You know what? Maybe we should do this where it's outdoors or qualifies as outdoors. Feels like minus 12, feels like minus 20. So if I start it here, this feels a little gamey. Well, it feels a lot gamey. Granted, I am playing a game, but I may or may not get the extra time bonus by starting the fire here. I don't know. I do not study all the details of the assignment, that's why I hire governors. Yeah, no indoors, Joe Prent. There are some exceptions, but largely that's the rule. Oh god, I did not find as many sticks as I was hoping to find. Right, well then. Campfire ain't warming me up. Okay, that that last stick kind of did it. It also kind of did not. Uh, whilst that's happening, I want to prepare some more birch bark. Yeah, this moldy meat. Yum yum. God, it's cold. God, it's so cold. Right, that'll be ready shortly. I'm gonna sleep for two hours and hope that this storm subsists. 
And then with what's left of the campfire, I guess we gotta... I guess we gotta make do. God, I got nothing left to burn. That's grim. No coal, no nothing. I'd have to shove torches on. I'm going to harvest this crappy torch just in case I need a stick for some emergency uh, lighting at the end of all this. I'm going to eat this just to get some carbo loading going. Uh, this should be fine if I just sleep for one hour. Hopefully I'm warming up ever so slightly. Don't burn on me. Hey, it didn't burn on me. Do we just eat this? No, I'm going to carry this with me. It's in excellent condition. I'm going to sleep for another hour. It's barely warm for us here. Barely, barely warm, but oh, it's so bad out there. Sheesh, man. Without her, Lopi, you really feel the lack of fuel. Yeah, normally it's not a big deal. You just go indoors where you're naturally warm. Uh, can we squeeze another hour out of that? I think we can squeeze another hour out of that. I hope we can, because it's bloody cold. It says 52 minutes, but I'm sure it'll last a little longer. It better last longer. I'm in trouble. Alright, see? Still got some stuff going. Now, birch bark tea. And birch bark tea. Uh, that's probably windy enough to put out my fire, which is awful. You're awful. Alright, one thing I'm sure I'll forget at some point is actually taking my bedroll with me. I'm not going to take this torch. I will use one of my existing torches and just pray that the wind is gentle enough not to blow it out. And this warmth is going to have to carry us all the way to Coastal Highway. Once I reach Coastal Highway, I think I can survive warmth-wise because I can always duck into a cave. And there are matches there. I might just sound like I'm doing some self-coping, but there are matches in Coastal Highway. I think I'm just going to drink one of these birch bark teas immediately. Get water, get calorie, get the warming up bonus, and get the bonus to my condition. And then, much as I hate to say it, I gotta go. The Olympic flame must carry on. By the way, if it immediately blows out, I'm turning back and kipping in the cave for a bit longer, I think. Oh, I am 99% certain this, uh, this torch is going to be a thing of the past in this. Feels like minus 10 in the shelter. Grab sticks, because I have been sorely lacking the uh, the burnables. Uh, can I get down from here? Okay, good. Trying to stick to the wall so that the wind doesn't hit me. But the wind can and does change direction. You know, I don't... Oh, well, good luck finding... Right, we, we got to actually pick up the pace, because we are... Temperature is a bigger concern than tiredness. And in such condition, I prefer to run. There are tea ingredients here. I don't really want to stop and grab them. I want to get inside the shelter so that I know that this Olympic flame will carry me. Hey, Palmar. Oh, I've got Caesar 3 on the mind. It's just long dark today. Because I had a fair bit of time this evening. I don't like jam packing every single day when I'm on vacation full of uh, full of actiony things. I don't mind taking things easy. And today was certainly a take it easy day. Right, still protected from the elements here, but man, I want this wind to let up. Oh, 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 coal. Coal burns for a long time. Sadly, there's just one. Well, not that long. An hour. But it gives a lot of temperature. That is 200% blowing my torch out if I step out in that. But I can't really think of an alternative other than hunkering down and just... Uh... Oh, think about food. 
oh, there is really something to be said for waiting it out a bit more. Of course, it could get worse. But I am actually going to take shelter in here and uh, thanks to the sticks and the coal that I found, keep the fire rolling. Burning through these cattail heads that I started out with. I like holiday planning, but part of that is including plenty of slack for relaxation. I don't like to plan them. I like to be able to do things ad hoc. Any interest in long-term outside places to set up camp? I'm more interested in finding some matches. We have been going for a wee while now, and we still have a big fat zero mat. Where's that coal? Where's the call I picked up? The whole reason I'm here is because I found some coal. I feel like Will Smith asking where the video games are. Where, where, where'd the coal go? Goddamn shadow coal. Well, uh... Failing that, what? The, where the heck did it go? I am a million percent sure I picked up that um, that coal. It's going to be very funny if it's still there. All right, well, I'm going to enjoy this rose hip tea, and I'm going to go and see if the coal is still there. Got no problem just running for that coal if need be. take you with me and just chug you to get the heat back in my body and shove a reishi tea and uh, my cold rose hip and let's go and leg it and see if we can find that coal again what happened there I think the wind actually let up though so even though even though it was shadow coal where do we find the coal we weren't this far along What in the blue blazes happened there? Well, y you all saw it, right? I'm not going, not going off my rocker already, right? Yeah, well. Yeah, well. That's just how it goes sometimes. That's how it went this time. Right, let us uh, salvage this incredibly crappy torch. I'm going to freeze out there for that, that, I'm sure. Right, come with me. And let's hope that our Olympic flame can carry us to victory once more. I think it was a stone lol. Really? Really? I don't buy it. I don't buy it at all. I mean, maybe. The cold may have been making me just see things. There are a lot of stones here. It's granted. <laughs> granted. Right, we've got to be careful not to misstep here. If you fall, you fall to your death. No ifs, no buts, no coconuts. Hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not, I love heights. Oh, I used to have this tree out in the garden that I love to climb. And... <laughs> Thank you, Father, you cut it down so you could have satellite TV. I'm not bitter, I understand. Well, it beat teletext. Right, don't look down. Looking down makes it worse. Oh yeah, yeah. You, you don't want to. You don't want to see all that. Oh no, 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 no. I shouldn't be. Shouldn't be tempting fates right now. Not at all. We're already unbelievably cold, so I'm gonna drink. Uh, actually, do I have restore condition? I do. So I'm not gonna drink the birch bark. I'll drink the rose hip. 
You're hungry, lol. No, he says boy, not lol. Um, that's okay. Tea. Tea is enough to subsist on in this game. <clears throat> right. It was coal. Like this. Lump of coal. Burns great. Good temperature. Thank you, backer. <clears throat> a little, little wary and even self-conscious of bodily noises now that I don't have glorious noise suppression. I'm not conscious of the uh, air conditioner right now, though. I need that heat. It is cold here, right? I was under the impression that Japan was a hot country. Clearly, I was wrong. Well, probably warm parts to it. Right, uh, forgive me my babby map consultation, but I've only been in this location once before. So I'm not all that sure what there is here. We're under Coastal Highway, which is C, and yes, I'm using paper maps here. I went down to the local Conbini to get these printed out. Not broken railroad. There we go, Coastal Highway. I'm actually fairly familiar with Coastal Highway, but not necessarily the ravine approach. So, so, so. What's my best option here? Trailer can be entered at the end of this, but... I could take an immediate right. Go down, kind of following the river. And has a multitude of its own problems. But it might be better, because if I come down at the edge there, there are more things to potentially loot. Biggest thing I need right now is matches. Finding things that I have found so far has been great, but boy do I need matches. No frostbite risk is nice. No sprains are also nice. Let's try and keep it that way, Commander Shepard. Did you find the Combini? Oh yeah, Cribbins. It makes every other store in the world feel like an inconvenience store because these Japanese they they know they know what they need. To escape this cold. Oh, I'm actually going to harvest some of these because I may need the extra food and tinder at this rate. Hopefully the Olympic torch can stay, because no matter how rough things get, I can always duck down and use this coal to get enough temperature to warm back up. And even if I can't warm back up myself, I can always cook up some delightful tea. Tea will keep me very alive. I'm ducking down to try and avoid the wind chill wherever possible. Right, restore condition is practically over. If it's still warm, I want to drink my birch bark tea. It's not, so I'm going to drink my reishi tea. Which I always just want to call the racial tea. Time to go to work, enjoy the rest of the stream, and stay warm. <laughs> I'm working on it in-game and in real life. Uh, this is all well and good. This should connect back to itself. Oh, coal, yes! Oh, all this coal is so good. Got to be very mindful of my uh, torch, though. There's so much to keep an eye on. My weight, my conditions, warmth, the fire on the torch. Not to mention all the loot. So if you if you start seeing... Okay, so frostbite risk does trigger even if you're warm. Gotcha. Did not know that, but now I do. If you find moments where you're like, how in the world did he miss that thing? It was right in front of him. It's because my eyes are not necessarily where your eyes are. That might sound obvious, but a lot of people, when they start streaming themselves, one of the things that really hits them is, wow, I feel like such a, such an idiot for all these things I'm missing. And then they start feeling bad for all the flack they gave me. I wish that happened more often. The feeling bad, not the flack. I'm on the good torches now. How, are we on the really good stuff? Yeah, wow, good. This is why I like to use the crappy torches uh, first. Like Soon you just end up with nothing but the good stuff. Right. I don't like the name Bear Creek. So let's hope this was just established by a guy called Bear. If we ever have one of those... Um, community characters in our uh, runs coming up. You know, like what we had, had with Capitalism Lab. I hope somebody puts in the, the long dark bear. I 
I still get my giggle at uh, Archibald Vile. In fact, uh, I, I call the Arc file Archibald, courtesy of that. Someday when I become a famous Doom Tuber, I hope I can propagate that phrase. Alright, this is getting pretty damn bad. It's cold. I even know where I can go from here to warm up, actually. <laughs> there is a, <laughs> There is a bear cave further south. If I'm that desperate to warm up, uh, I'm not sure I'm that desperate. But I can't afford a lot of condition loss right now. Um, I might just huddle over here, start a fire, and get some teas going and use the power of tea to continue on. Because I really don't want the condition loss. So where's the, where's the wind? Are we protected from wind here? Can't tell which way the wind is blowing, actually. And that's um, that's a foreboding phrase to say. Down here, we're protected from the wind. Down here, yes, we are. All right, if I could kindly get this fire going, cattail heads and stick. This fire might not be enough to warm me, but that's not really the point. It would be if I threw on some coal, though, and I'm tempted to pass a bit of time here and warm up. But I might just use teas anyway. How cold is it? It worked. Oh, it's only minus thirteen. Right. Tell you what. Bang goes this, and we will we will use this opportunity to warm up. On goes the coal. Now I'm not going to throw the small arms thing on it because of the the run being a merchant run. I said I would talk about that at some point, wouldn't I? Oh, now might be a good idea for it. So, something that I'm planning on doing with this run, I'll make some more water while we wait, is find a shop, and I'm probably going to use this one on the coastal highway, and it is the one place, the one indoor place we're allowed to go into, because we're going to restock it with items. I have made a shopping list of items that I want to fill it up with. It includes tools and hammers and hacksaws and all the different books and sewing kits and, and all sorts, just stuff that you can loot. Meaning that I can't just willy-nilly use everything I find, because I will want to stock the shelves with it. Uh, and that's going to come into effect pretty much in the mid-game, because I will want to... I'm tempted just to take a wee kip here for one hour. Just good to keep that alertness up. Mm, yeah, it's warm enough. Those things will take a bit. I'm going to sleep for an hour. The fire should keep the... Oh, crap, I was hungry. I didn't actually regain condition for that. No, I won't sleep in the shop. No sleeping on the job allowed. Whoa, it, it it fizzled out. Oh, that's not good. Okay, that was a mistake in a lot of ways. Let's, uh... Hmm? Oh, crap, I'm out of water to even prepare some birch bark. That does tell me that I want to make some water here, then. Um, take a couple more sticks. Get me that water. I will eat should have eaten the venison. And let's take that one hour kip again. So you're not a co-worker of mine? Oh, I've had co-workers that sleep on the job. Right. There we go. That's more like it. Now let's get that birch bark tea going. Let's get that uh, birch bark tea going. And we'll carry on with our Olympic flame real soon. Might be a good idea to pop out and just see if I can grab some some anything, really. Cue a bear just being right there and ruining my day. Actually... Oh, oh, oh cripes! No, 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 no! Tell me he's not coming over here. I've got four minutes on this birch bark tea. If you can just hold out a little bit, my yogi friend. Oh, Jesus. Right, he is cowed by fire, at least. I don't know if I can run away from this fire and keep him unhappy. I'm going to eat this venison so he doesn't even think about having that off of me. Right. You, my friend, just stay there, okay? 
stay. I wonder why they call this place Bear Creek. Right, just, just stay away from big old bear. Can you make friends with the bear? Oh, we can have a heart to heart. Usually ends with one of us dying, though. Right, we're taking a bit of a long way around here just to uh, avoid my very scary friend. Don't like the fact that I can still hear him. Let's try not to break our delicate Canadian ankles on the uh, decline. Okay, right. Right, hopefully he just enjoys being warm by the fire that I left him. I, however, have lost my way because of that. Now you might think, come on Jake, you just took a very short turnaround. It was nothing special. Well, I have unbelievably terrible sense of direction so yeah to me this was a big uh, a big departure I don't know if I burnt all my sticks or not though if I had a stick I could stick north it do I have any sticks yeah I think I saw a stick there yeah there we go which way is north my friend if that is north, then I kind of want to go this way-ish. Well, kind of this way-ish, I think. Oh, right. Uh, those, those teas I had. Let's drink one, because I need to stay warm. At least I got rid of frost by risk. I am, I am feeling a little bit antsy because of the bear there. He shook me. Right, the the animals in this game they just follow their own set patterns and paths and they do they do predictable things but that doesn't stop me just feeling that sense of fear brings me back to the first time I encountered a bear in this game he did not kill me well I don't think he killed me he ravaged me and he stole my trousers and I'm not quickly going to forget that I like those trousers they help keep me warm okay Truth be told, I don't really know where this is. Um, I don't know if I want to go this way or not. I really am not actually sure. Because um, I don't know how far up the road I am. Maybe I can get a bit of verticality and check. Because there's a possibility of matches in that direction. Okay, okay, we're at these burnt out places. Uh, I will give them a quick check. If there are not matches here, I'm going to double back down and hope that there are matches Never back down so there. Cold in my life. I'm also going to hope that the wind doesn't pick up. It's being very nice to me again. There are not matches here that I can see. And trust me, I am looking. It sucks. You, you want to you wanna explore thoroughly, but yeah. You're on a bit of a timer, right? You can't just stop and smell every... Wait, was that even a good idea? No, there's still stuff on this. See? Panicking. Panicking bad. You gotta remember the three C's. Cool, calm, and collected. Well, we're certainly cool right now. I'd love to enter here. I would love, but I cannot. Outer loper means outer loper. Yeah, I said I'd double back, and I'm doubling back. Even so, though, I think I will... Uh find where the wind is not blowing at me, like here. Uh, I can't can't set fire there because it's made of wood. Maybe I'm covered from the uh, the wind back here then. Okay. Come on fire, help me out. I'm gonna just make my teas warm up. Gee, yeah, we lost... Uh oh, uh oh, right. Get rid of that. This Olympic fire we cannot afford to lose, so I'm not messing around here. I don't have a lot of sticks, but I think I still have a bit of coal. I hope I do. Come on. 
We have fire next to all these pallets. We could smash them with our hammer. Ooh, that's a good idea. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh my god, even with the hammer, it takes forever to smash up a pallet. Two hours fifteen? I don't have that kind of time. I like how... Well, I don't like the way that they get frustrated, and I don't like being around people that are getting angry like that. I want to tell them to calm down, but it's not going to help Commander Shepard here. But it is a nice touch that they kind of vocalize your own frustration at fires just refusing to start. I mean, how hard is it to start a bleeding fire? Feels like minus 20. I'm unlikely to warm up even with this coal, but I will try. Should at least be enough time to get some water going. And if this isn't enough warmth, I can always get a little bit more out of my sleeping bag. But this is all right-ish. Okay, there we go. There we go. Let's just warm up. Warm up here for a little bit. Actually, there's no good reason not to use my sleeping bag for even more warmth while I'm here. There we go. One hour kit. Thank you, please. Yoink, yoink. Wow, that was close. Um, still going. I'm tempted to make some more teas, but I think I should just uh, heat up my, my teas and then move back. It is getting a touch warmer, which is nice. Unfortunately, I'm going to lose a lot of this heat moving back and forth, and we're going to be completely out of combustibles. So I gotta hope that we find something really good. You know, matches are nice, but I also need things to burn, like wood. Last time... Well, it sure looks like it takes me two hours fifteen with a heavy hammer. Maybe these are special pallets. They do, after all, give a huge amount of wood. Okay, expire, uh, increased condition is gone, just in time to get some reishi tea down me. Or birch bark tea, rather. Let's just drink it while we're here. Yeah, just dragging the, um... Just dragging the pallet is sadly not an option. Jeez, it is still cold as sin here. Uh, do I have anything else to add? I got a single... Yeah, I'll throw in this ruined torch. Oh, that was no good. Uh, I'm going to add a single stick, and that will allow me to douse this flame and take another torch, and then off we go. This torch blows. And I have no flares, so if the wind picks up, or something nasty happens, whatever that could be, uh, it's just goodbye ignition for us. Right, that's what I'm looking for. Over there, I reckon there's a vehicle which may have matches in it. I have seen the matches in there before. And then maybe rather than take the highway itself, I'm going to jump from fishing hut to fishing hut, because those can have some goodies, including reclaimed wood. <laughs> I just set the whole building on fire. So uh, a house me and some of my housemates stayed in once was so cold. Uh, one of my mates was in bed saying... You know, if this house caught fire, I wouldn't get out. I'd finally be warm. I often think about that when I remember, or when I think of cold times. I don't have a pry bar, so if the back is locked, I can't open it. Oh, what do we have in here? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, nothing, nothing worth my time. What a shame. Just a whole lot of blah, blah, blah. Right, for the love of God, some, uh, some... Mittens, please. No. Uh, are you any good? Meet me at my boat. Oh, coastal house, destroyed house, boat. Destroyed, coastal, coast. Ooh, that could be something worth my time. Right, memento hints are good. Now, not all of them are useful to me. Fingers feel numb. Because some of them are strictly indoors. Cold again. Last tea down the hatch. At least you're staying well hydrated. A good thing they don't have a 
urination mechanic in this game because <laughs> that meter would be pressed to bulging with the amount of tea I make Commander Shepard drink. Uh, didn't I say I was going to go from... Oh, crikey, now I need to consider my options here. Uh, memento hint of that place. Let me think, though. There's two different places I reckon that could be. One is where I just was. Another is not. And it's hard to know because this is... Mm. It's going in that direction, so maybe it's at the other end of the... It's probably at the other end of the place, right? Probably. Probably. I don't actually know. I'm not familiar with the memento hints. I did seek some of them out to get a feel for them, but I did not commit them to memory. Not a lot of things get committed to my memory. It's a bit too random access. Do we ever learn why Canada was abandoned? There's coal, woodcutting, and fishing. Oh, there's some lore about uh, general worldwide instability and the uh, there being a bit of a factional approach for uh, these people wanting to be self-sufficient and yada yada. I haven't paid it much thought. Just keep the Olympic flame going. We need it badly. We need a lot of things badly. Feel my feet. Gloves for one. Uh, even if I started a fire here, it wouldn't be enough to warm me up. Right. There's a corpse over there. But do we think... I mean... Uh, no, it said there's a ruined hut, right? And uh, those things aren't ruined. Could be other things for me over there, but... I'm gonna need to eat soon. I know, I know. I might just have to eat some condition loss for a wee bit. But I really don't want to get hypothermic. Oh, some sticks are always nice, though. Sticks are life. I even take these birch barks. I'm going to drop them off in the store. I should at least... Freeze. Okay, for the love of God, please, matches. I saw the wolf. That's not matches. Oh, cripes. I guess I'll go to you, and then to you. Oh jeez, that frostbite risk is something fierce. And I'm not warming up enough to get rid of it. Okay, maybe I get really lucky and in here there's some matches. And by lucky I mean finally some matches. It's been a, been a fairly long time. Still no matches, this is not very nice. Cloth. Okay. If I find enough of that, I could make some makeshift clothy things for my poor frostbitten dying hands. Even just a bit of cedar wood to get some... Oh, jeez, it's cold. Just to get some, uh, some warmth. I just need to get rid of this frostbite risk. I don't want to catch frostbite. Frostbite bad. Wind's picking up, though. I do not want to lose my fire. Uh, sod it. I don't want to get frostbite. We're gonna... We're gonna stick up and fire up and whatever it takes to lose it. Yeah, the bear's already been looting my bleeding cabins. Boats near the pier might have some matches. They often have premium items. Oh, well. Once we warm up a touch, I'll go and check it out. Maybe I can make some, um, some tea while I'm here as well. We should have the makings for it. Thank goodness for that. Right. Add fuel. Wood. Wood. Stick. 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 Ah, oh, it sounds awful out there. The wind's picking up. I think. I don't think you get much of a warmth bonus from that. Uh... Oh, well, you know what? Even if this isn't warm enough, I bet it's warm enough inside my. Oh my. Gosh, right. Take take this stick. Um, um, I don't know if closing the door is going to help, but I'll close it. 
Uh, I'm going to harvest a couple of these to make more sticks. Throw it on, and I'm going to sleep in my sleeping bag to try and just get rid of uh, frostbite risk. Because look at that. Add fuel, and I am very tempted to throw in the small arms textbook. Seriously. It's getting colder, isn't it? Right. Um, yeah, not much choice but to sleep in the bed roll for one hour. If I'm doing that, though, I should make some water. Right, at the very least, I should get rid of a little bit of the frostbite risk. Yeah, there are no small arms, so I'm keeping it for my shop. Yeah, frostbite risk is still there. Give me that. A little more water. I might just have to sleep that. It's so hungry in my life. Yeah, you'll be fine for another hour, I'm sure. Okay, good, good, good. Oh! Keep the Olympic fire going. And uh, keep the water going. Right. Frostbite risk isn't quite so bad now. I don't think it's too bad. Right, let's check for these so-called premium items. Hell, even a few scraps of cloth would be fine, because they would at least, at least, get rid of that frostbite risk. Come on, premium items, premium, 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 premium. Uh, no, no, <laughs> it doesn't look very premium to me. Well, there's a load of old hokey. Nah, this is rough. Right, okay. Well, we're making our way along then. Sticks. Desperate need of. That frostbite wrist is just going to grow and grow. Fortunately, we got a bit of rest there, so if nothing else, we can run a bit. We need to find some place to escape this cold. I know, Shepard. I'm working on it. It's going to go a lot better if you do a lot less complaining and a lot more running and finding sticks. Sticks don't give a lot of temperature, but combined they give a mighty amount of time. Let's try and stay out of the wind as well as much as possible. Use the snow to protect yourself from the snow. There are things I can chop up for sticks, but I don't want to spend the time, the calories, anything basically. Right, you got anything in the boot? No. You got anything in the back? No. You got anything in the front? Maybe. I think I saw a sewing kit there. I already have a sewing kit, but I will take another. I think my stomach is eating itself. Yeah, yeah. Freaking shepherd and his. Right, gloves in the glove box, right? Ah, Jesus Christ. Making work for every penny here. I feel like I'm a teenager again. Oh, sticks, sticks, sticks. Frostbite risk, risk, risk. Oh, there was no living wage for me, that's for sure. Jeez, that frostbite risk scares me. What's it at? 82%. Just a bit of coal would be nice. Coal at least would get me a fire warm enough to, um, well, become positive again. But this is not exactly coal finding area. Eighty-six percent. It's growing like crazy. Log 
sort here. There's a lovely log cabin that even if I could enter it, I wouldn't be allowed to, thanks to the rules that we're playing. 89%. Can we even can we even bother with a fire here? Do we even have enough sticks to do anything with that? I mean our 14 sticks. I think we could do it right. Here you go. Again, just start fire, load it with st No, 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 Shepard, stop being useless. Come on. Get fire, get nap, alleviate frostbite, and keep moving. We're not that far away from the shelf. For fun's sake. Uh-oh, uh-oh. The wind is picking up in this direction. Fire's life out here. Uh, still apparently... Still apparently good enough. But, uh, feels like minus 16 because of that breeze. Crap, I shouldn't have filled it up with all those sticks then. Yeah, the, the wind chill alone is doing me in. What if I go over here? Protection from that, but too far away from the. <laughs> Please, game, I'm so cold. Well, the frostbite risk is apparently going down a wee bit. A wee bit. Jeez, right. Think, 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 think. Um, there is a mine nearby. That much is true. But maybe if I just add, like, a stick or two onto this thing, I can just get enough temperature to uh, survive. Okay, there we go. Now how long is that going to last? Maybe long enough to get in here. I should have eaten first because I want the condition back. Okay. Took care of a little bit of that. Just chow in a cattail stock and take another hour's kip. Because although this says it's not going to last for an hour, I'm certain it will. Yeah, you can go to sleep and where'd my fire go? Oh no! We lost the fire, right. But it's not that bad out here, actually it's pretty bad. Especially since there are wolves. But yeah, the mine... The mine is just up a bit from here, I believe. So if nothing else, I should go in the mine and hope that it's warm enough to... Uh, to kip a bit. But I desperately need a flare. Yeah, there's a mine over there. That's what I should have done in the first place. Jake, the mine is now dark. Well, that's okay. As long as it is warmer than out here, so I can get rid of this accursed frostbite risk. Because I have water, I think. Yeah, I got three liters of water. And I can spend some time in there just generally warming up. That's the plan. Warm up, make goods. Press on, basically. My condition is god awful, but I'm sure we'll be okay. We had to spend a fair bit of it to get here. Oh, and uh, need I remind us we still have zero matches? Are you Matt? Oh! Oh, oh, the run is saved, and there is no hyperbole there. That has saved the run. We can actually play now. Right. Yum, 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 yum. We're gonna eat here, we're gonna sleep here, we're gonna try and get some condition back. Ooh. 
pry bar is another one of those uh, advancement items, sort of. I mean, I have yet to find something that makes me go, oh yay, I found this here with a pry bar, but I'm sure it'll happen someday. It's not a lot of light, but we could always light a torch to see around here. We could grab some... There's a lot of things we could grab, truth be told. I think we will. We're going to explore here for a bit. Um, I don't really know much about these mines. But I should have enough torches to make this worth my while. So I'm going to nibble on more cattails because I desperately need the uh, condition regain, even if it's just 1%. And let there be light. Alright, eyes peeled. Anything of use. Any nook or cranny. Which, by the way, is why Tom Nook calls his place Nook's Cranny in Animal Crossing. <clears throat> that might have flown over your head. But my big brain is too large for anything to fly over it. Now, some people with Outer Loper would say that mines are not allowed because they're man-made. Me? Nah, I don't, I don't... I'm not that anal. We're in the ground here, right? It's a foxhole man-made structure that we can't sleep in. Well, again, some people might go, yeah, not allowed that, not allowed snow shelters. Getting kind of thirsty. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll lighten your load a bit there, Shepard. Right. Big reason coming in here as nice as the coal. I should have slept before doing this, because uh, I'm probably going to want to sleep here. Um, hang on, did I just double back on myself here? I'm not familiar with this mine. I'm not sure if I've ever been in it before. Bag there. I didn't see a bag, but that's not saying it's not there. But, uh, I'm still not seeing it. It's in the wall. Well, I, I don't doubt you, but I don't see it. Maybe you'll see it on the way back. Now, from what I understand, this elevator only works in an Aurora. It's not an Aurora now, and even if it were, I'm not sure it would be worth our worth ourselves going down. Well, maybe it would be. We wouldn't know. But yeah. Only in an Aurora. I did not find much coal in here. Forgive me for expecting a bit more than... Uh, how much coal did we get? <laughs> Three pieces of coal! That's laughable! This is meant to be a mine! By the way, I'm really not seeing this bag in the wall. But my torch is fading. Was it at this at this juncture here? If it was useful, it wouldn't be abandoned, Jake. Ah, touche. Right, I'm going to double check this. It's not too bad to be spending time here because we are warming up. Uh, really though, any any more description for this bag, or are you pulling my leg here? Not that I'd put it past people here to be so nasty, but it's not that thing. You're just making me burn through my uh, my good torches here, aren't you? Oh yeah, maybe. Maybe they confused that lamp with a bag. It's not unthinkable. I like to think they were too good to be confused by something so simple. Maybe they meant this bag. But I've already checked this bag. And it's not in the wall. Right. Even though it's a bit of a waste of a bag... Uh, I think we'll spend some time here, and I'm a little tempted to smash up these crates, actually. 
just to get some wood to burn because man I am short on wood to burn since we know the exits over there it's not too bad to just be here oh that's dark an hour and eight with the hammer how is the hammer not helping me out much with this that seems absurd at least this one's only 45 but it's kind of crazy how little time I'm saving with that anyway um, it might not be a bad idea Will I carbo load for it? Food is probably also going to be a great concern. I want to go starvation, but I can't afford the condition loss right now. Eat some cattails. Keep myself good, and we'll smash this up just to have something to burn, because lack of stuff to burn has been a problem for us. And then when it gets uh, nighty night time, we ourselves are going to sleep. Right There's something to be said for you doing all this whilst I have no calories in my stomach. But again, my condition is so bad I can't afford to do that. Besides, I have plenty of cattails for now. Oh, I've eaten a cattail, Dr. Mensonge. I wouldn't say it was that bad. I wouldn't want my diet to mostly subsist of eating them, but in a survival situation, I probably wouldn't be that fussy. Yeah, if we keep barely hanging on like this, we might... Uh-oh, uh-oh, I might, might have made a boo-boo here. Might have made a boo-boo. Because I can't see now. And it's the middle of the night. Well, whatever. We get plenty of reclaimed wood, so we can burn lots. Right. I don't want to use a torch here. I'm just generally staggering in this direction. Hoping that I'm going to... Uh, make my way to the exit. You could eat a horse. I know you could, I know. Right, I'm also going to do this. Kind of scary, isn't it? But it should help me see where I am and where I'm going. Whoa, whoa, what the heck is... What do I make of this? I don't know. I'm trying to, right, in case this isn't making a lot of sense, I'm trying to use the, um, use the bedroll to feel out where I am. So some kind of grating thing in my way here, but I think I need to go around it like so. But, you know what? Sometimes you just gotta sleep your problems away. I want to sleep for as long as I can, so we're gonna carbo load pretty handily. I'm not gonna eat the um, the granola bar actually. Actually, no, I am. I was thinking about keeping it for my uh, collection in the shop, but now is not the time to be thinking about that. I'm too busy trying to survive desperately. Let's just load up. We should get a little bit of condition back from sleeping here, and it's definitely going to be warm enough for us. So we'll just sleep for as long as possible. And hopefully it'll be kind of bright. Bright enough to see our way out, because I don't want to spend a match. It is not. But Frostbite Risk finally went away, and we healed a reasonable amount of our health. That's quite nice. Still a hungry lad, so I'm still not going to enter starvation mode, even though I should. Right, where in the dickens are we? It's still night time. Uh, I went and lost my bedroll. Unless I have it on me? Oh, I do have it on me, okay. Is this the edge of the... 
Oh, well, no, I think I think I feel out where this is a bit. There's some barrels and stuff. Mm, I might just have to use the torch. Actually, I should be lighting the torch anyway, because there might be nasties out there. So much as it pains me. Oh, by the way, do I have enough to make some handheld uh, improvised hand wraps? No, I only have one out of four cloth. Well, that's rough. Okay, so much as I don't want to do this, I'm gonna use a uh, use a match here, and I was nowhere near the entrance because I immediately got stuck in here instead of going around it and going back to the exit. Well, so much for my brilliant plan. But at least we've got a lot of reclaimed wood, so we can keep uh, fires going quite nicely, quite handily. This is disgraceful. I don't think I want to go out in that. I don't think I want to go out in that at all. Cost me a torch. It's probably going to cost me another torch later on, but I'm just going to uh, throw you down there for now. Drink up. I could start a fire, but I can't see a good reason to do so. Instead, I'm going to pass some time by enjoying the fact that I'm still technically warm. And we're going to make. Huzzah! Tea ingredients. Out of all the tea ingredients we found. Wow, we can make a lot of it. That's nice. Gonna pass like an hour just making this stuff in darkness. And I'm probably gonna starve. Stomach feels like an empty pit. Yeah, but now I'm actually going to embrace the starvation. Because I got a bit of condition back. Reminds me of that video of two horses going outside and immediately running back in due to the weather. Well, that's us right now. It is Grimbo out there. Nice thing about doing all this, um, dare I say, cooking, is that it's leveling up, I think, our repair skill? It seems strange, it should be more like your dexterity, your handiness, or something like that. Uh, might as well make the last rose hip as well, so that we're good for making loads of tea. And I also want to... Hey, it's looking alright out there. We'll harvest our last torches as well. Now, if a... If a dog or even a bear comes and gets us, thanks to the power of actually having some matches, we can uh, light it up and scare them off. Also, we're soon to get to the store, provided I survive long enough to get there, and I can actually talk about the... The challenge, the merchant part of this challenge. Oh, what a lovely day. Ooh, even more, even more ingredients. Don't mind if I do. I just hope we don't get dogged on the way, but I think we'll be alright. I hope we'll be alright. <laughs> Still want sticks. Always want sticks. We should be warm once we reach our shop. There are three possible shops that I can think of. There's one in Milton, there's one we're going to, and, um, well, here in Coastal Highway, and there's also one in Pleasant Valley, and I decided to use the Coastal Highway one. It's nice and big, and I just think Coastal Highway is a better location. I don't particularly like Pleasant Valley, because it's, uh, <laughs> it's nowhere near as pleasant as the name implies, and given the outer loper nature of this run, having to go there frequently. I don't think it's going to be very good. It's not a great place to be outdoors in, as we've seen. I don't mind running to use energy because sleeping is good for us, especially at this point, to recover condition, which we sorely need. Oh man, if I could run that deer into a dog, that would be great. That would be a whole lot of food for me. But I don't know where there are any dogs. I don't see any prowling around. Can't feel my hands. Oi, you get go and go and become someone's dinner. I don't know how it works with where they run to. Oh my god, I'm getting cold already. I just stepped out. All right, anything worth my time in here? No, no. More no. 
Sorry, we'll be warm inside our shop. I'm so cold. How, how long until I immediately go back on my I'm not going to sleep in the shop idea? No, that wouldn't be very outer loper, would it? That's right, that's right. Run towards what I can only assume is a dog over here. There are usually dogs around the um, the shop, right? Also, isn't there usually a car around here? I might have already run past it, in which case, too bad. I hate this condition loss, though. Can't afford it. Gotta keep moving. I could start a fire, but I don't want to. I just want to get into my shop. Should be nice and warm in there. Well, we can kind of see it from here. We can also see frostbite. Do I want to check these cars while I'm here? I suppose I might as well. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm taking condition loss as we speak. Right, anything in the back? No, anything in the front? For the love of God, a pair of gloves. We've gone so long without basic basics here. No gloves, no... Ah, oh, Jesus. I really cannot complain. Early hacksaw and early... Um, what was the other thing I got? The bedroll. Are way too good to complain about. I found the hammer, but at least that took a bit of work. Oh, actual shoes. They're slightly better than what I have now. Yeah, rack around in that glove box. Jeez, oh, no. No freebies for Commander Shepard. Checking that I'm not accidentally sitting on massive frostbite risk. I'm quite happy that we're able to shake off frostbite. I hate having frostbite. Now I've only had it once, but uh, that one time, just that constant reminder of your failure. Now, of course, my failure was listening to. No, no, I said I was going to stop harping on about that. I will actually stop harping on about it. An excellent workman knows when to uh, blame his tools, but there's no amount of excellence that can forgive blaming others for your own shortcomings. That's the last one I'm checking. So, although this is an outer loper run, and we've been outer loping the whole way, there is an exception, and this is the exception, because this is also a shopkeeper run. And this is our shop. Why am I not warm in here? Oh my god, right, for the uh, I hope there's something to wear in here, because I'm meant to be warm and I'm not. Uh, it's kind of important that I am warm, and yet I'm not. Okay, I am warm now. In fact, I'm a lot warmer now. Is it warmer in there than out here? Interesting. Right. So, this is our shop, and the goal of this run, in addition to outer loping is that we need to grab a whole bunch of things and bring them back here and display them on the shelves. I expect to have loads of beef jerky and ketchup chips, hammers, hacksaws, you name it. We're going to fill this sorry looking shop right back up. So there'll be a bunch of sodas around here. People can go and grab them from there. Get my stump remover or whatever else there is going. So this is the one building that we're allowed to come in and generally chill out in because we're going to be stocking these shelves. I'm also really hungry, so let's stop losing that condition, please. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So we're going to take a moment to make sure that there's anything worth having. So this creates an interesting dynamic of things I find. Am I going to use them or save them for the shop? Because it might be I find something that's pretty hard to find, but... Uh, but, you know, I need to live, so i got to use it, right? Uh, that includes finding some money. So if I find Canadian money, I must resist the urge to just burn it. Because what's a shop if you don't have any money? People are going to want their spare change. This tin of coffee, for example. Coffee is an incredibly powerful item. I'm going to want that. 
but I need it for my shop. I wrote up a list of items that I need to get to consider this run valid and successful and something I can be proud of and say I'm done. Oh, I'll be taking that, thanks. Uh, I don't have it to hand. Ooh, a candy bar. There's something I'm going to need a bunch of lying around. It's the only reason we're allowed to go indoors in any place is to grab goods for this, and I'm not allowed to use any of the goods that I do find doing that. Hopefully that's clear enough. I realize that although the idea is in my head, it might not immediately be quite uh, quite clear. Cured leather? Choice between starving or saving that jug of maple syrup precisely. Yeah, 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 I've got the book to dump as well, you're right about that. Okay, okay. One thing I'm going to be pretty much immune to... Oh, well, that's good. Those tablets are useless, but I will want them. And don't think I didn't spot those quality tools. Quality tools are great. Ketchup chips. What do we have here? Uh, looks like a bit of dog food or maybe some pork and beans. Oh, it's just a can. <gasps> it's just a can-shaped rock. Uh, right, a bed, but we will endeavor not to sleep on the job here. It's also a pretty nice base because it's got the work uh, workbench, so when it comes to it, this is a decent place to be. And let's lie them out for curing. Where are they at? Here we go. Drop all of those, good chunk. Um, should be a good place for making bow ingredients if we want to do it here. Although the only forging we can do, forging, not foraging, is at um, Forlorn Muskeg, because that's an outdoor forge that we can use. This is not really loaded now, is it? Ooh. Can opener is a good find. If we eat what we uh, what we find in tins instead of saving them up for this. How was your trip? Do you have a great time? I'm still on my trip. I'm still having a great time. I'm going to be taking that. It's heavy, sure, but Might useful for lighting up indoors without using torches and such. Okay, any more for any more? I think that's us looted this. Black and blue. Right, I don't have a strong run going here. Far from it. But it is a run, and we're gonna we're gonna make do with that. But I'm gonna save up here. Huzzah! Whew. Actually it looks better if we just hang right there. There we go. So, uh, I will be continuing this run on and hopefully not dying horribly. Uh, what are we going to do from here? Well, I need to secure... Basically, it's working towards the bow. As soon as we have bow, we should be able to make ourselves uh, in a survivable situation. Of course, that means getting hides and guts and curing those. Not to mention, what do we eat? What do we burn to stay warm? And the sooner we have better clothes to maintain warmth without needing to burn things, the better. But all those problems will await us for a future stream, which will be at an unknown time because streams, whilst I travel, are seldom known in advance. Even so, I'm glad this actually managed to take off today, and until I'm back with more, it's very much a cheers and a cheerio.